Hey, hello everybody. How are you guys doing? Let's see, I think we've got, it says we've got nine in here. I see Hector, Hector's in the building. How are you doing? Slim, slim, slim. Texas Bala's in the building. Okay, okay. I see you guys. What's going on? How's everybody doing tonight? Um, if you just popped in, uh, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. Is the audio good? Are we good? Give me a thumbs up if it's good. Thumbs down if you can't hear me <laughs> or just see me do signals, hand signals. Because I can't, I had to turn off my volume so I can't hear myself, obviously. Right, right? Oh, what's up, guys? I gotta tuck this in because if I don't, it's gonna bother me the whole time and you're gonna see me messing with it. So let's tie it up. Okay, better. All right, we'll give everybody a minute to get in here. But anyway, how's everyone doing? Did everybody watch the uh, the NCAA final championship game? Kind of sad that uh, Puku, hey, welcome, welcome. Donovan, what's going on, my friend? Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna get a couple, give a couple more minutes here, let some more people know. I know that everybody's notifications come in a little bit differently, so I'm gonna take a sip real quick. Good seeing everybody. Special welcome to any VIPs. Uh, people who've got the little uh, VIP icon next to their names, such as the Puku. Special welcome to them, of course, of course. And uh, it's actually a subscription. Uh, those of you who do subscribe, what you get is a uh, sneak peek into exclusive content. A lot of it is of me <laughs> in our adventures, should I say. And then uh, also you get first dibs to new content. Uh, across the board so and then of course you get that cool little access to um, icons special icons just for subscribers and yeah it's not free but you know for a nominal charge you get like the little cool extras <laughs> David Barber hey hey how are you we're just getting started friend just getting started Do I have a favor for the golf masters? You know what? Next one, I'm going to look into that because I told myself this year I was going to get more into golf and hockey. 
I told myself. So I got, I got you just reminded me that I have to do my homework. Okay. So what about you? Who you got? Let me know. Give me a hint. Hint, hint. While I tie my shorts. I'm just like completely not prepared. <laughs> Again, welcome, 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 everybody. 15 of us in here right now. Uh, that's actually, well, now it's 12. So I don't know. Some people came in, came out. <laughs> and that's okay, too. Uh, so we'll give a, got a, maybe one or two more minutes, let people know those notifications come in very varied. Sometimes they come in all together. Sometimes they're staggered out so but yeah I am happy to be here on a what is today Monday right usually I do not do so much during the week unless I'm actually in Vegas um, McElroy or Tiger okay it's a familiar name so that excuse me that helps me out a lot <laughs> thank you so much Donna I appreciate you um, what was I going to say? I forgot. So if y'all don't know, I am Nurse Viv and uh, I am one of the characters, <laughs> as you can see here on Urban AZ. And I do Pillow Talk where we talk exclusively about everything and nothing at the exact same time. <laughs> we're always in the bed. We're in our pajamas. We're comfortable. We may have a libation. I'm hoping I could talk Derek into making me an amaretto sour. That would be amazing because this coffee that I made a couple hours ago is not getting it right now. It's very watered down, but that's neither here nor there. But anyways, I want to welcome everybody who's here to another edition of Pillow Talk. Hey, Paul Martinez is in the building and you are right on it. You know it. We're already talking about uh, the championship game. You were hoping that SD, you, were, you I was kind of rooting for the underdog too, to be honest. But the, the play in the first and second half, ooh, second half I was starting to be like, eh, I don't know, this ain't looking too good. Although they started like what, in the, in the sec, I'm sorry, not the second half, the first half towards halftime, they weren't looking good. But then come second half, they closed the gap a little bit, but I was like still, but then, I don't know. I just, I, it, it would have been a fairy tale ending if they would have won. And like I said, I would have, I was rooting for them too, but it is what it is, right? But anyways, thank you so much for the super chat, Paul. I appreciate that. Appreciate you always being a supporter of Pillow Talk and Urban AZ. So, um, yeah, so I'll be completely honest with you guys, like right before halftime, I did kind of doze off. <laughs> Man, listen, we had ordered some wings. I had some potato skins with it and the itis just hit me. And it was like, man, I could not keep my eyes open. <laughs> and at that point, anyway, I think SDSU was behind by like, man, I think they had gone behind by like maybe close to 20. <laughs> so I was like, cue the nap. <laughs> Ooh, my rotator cuff. It's been bothering me today. I don't know why. But anyway. Um, David, no, my name is not Sarah. Sarah is our, our host that does the walking tours. She's the one that goes through um, during the week when um, I'm, I myself is I'm not in Vegas or Derek's not in Vegas. She is the muscle she is the brains the beauty the brawn all of it behind what you see uh on the on the i'm not gonna say daily live streams but on the more frequent live streams pillow talk i'm nurse viv i'm your host i will always be your host for pillow talk i hope that helped you out <laughs> puku said uh yeah you are confused <laughs> yes Okay. Uh, should I? Okay, so I've been informed no, that. No, don't say that to the. <laughs> don't do that. 
I may have to do a wardrobe change. Uh, I don't, hopefully you guys will not uh, be upset. I like my little let me sleep t-shirt. Um, I do on occasion wear something like this, but you know, I could get a little bit sexier for you guys. Yeah. What do you think? You let me know. Should I get a little bit, show a little bit more, you know, get a little sexier for pillow talk or y'all cool with this? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I need to know. Uh, David says, ah, okay, I was getting confused and I seen her yesterday at Fremont. Oh, you saw her in person? Did you see her in person? Oh, that's so awesome. And are you from Vegas or are you um, a visitor? That is my question. That is my question. So again, welcome to everybody who's just now coming in. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. We'll, we'll do that. I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> Puku. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But yeah. Hey, I feel you. But anyways, uh, we've got 18 in here. Welcome everybody who just popped in. Uh, I would appreciate it if you could hit the like button as well. Let me know that, you know, it helps the channel. Obviously, it's completely free. If you could subscribe, that would be amazing, too. Uh, I don't know how long we're going to be on tonight. Um, Sin City Live, what up, what up? How are you, friend? Thank you, thank you for stopping in. Appreciate you. David said, no, I didn't see her. I just saw her walk about, and I'm from the UK. Ah, okay. I don't know, from across the pond. Across the pond. That was an awful uh, imitation of accent. <laughs> but uh, anyway, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Puku says, sexier if that is even possible for you. Aw, you are so sweet. You are such an awesome supporter. I appreciate you. I will change into something momentarily. Uh, I just want to make sure everybody in here knows that this is Pillow Talk, where we simultaneously talk about everything and nothing at the same damn time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I know that Paul was saying that he was rooting for San Diego State. Anybody else? Was anybody else rooting for the underdog, or did y'all already know that Connecticut was going to blow that thing, blow that thing open? <laughs> Paul, what up? What up? Thank you for the super super sticker. Oh, that's so cute. You're all. <laughs> Don't get me going. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to change, but I got to make sure that y'all don't see in the mirror because, as you can see, I've got a big mirror over here. I don't want to see. I don't want to get the. I don't want to get this taken down. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, no, my phone's in there. My phone's in the um, uh, washroom. You gotta hand me my phone. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, let me see. Hold on one second, y'all. Oh, where's that from? Oh, okay. You've been talking about that. Okay. Hey, on my on the announcement, um, I just want to say that I see y'all, Carmen's J Poppy. Love you back, my friend. Uh, Jim West. I don't know if you're in here or not, but Jim, thank you so much. You are always an awesome supporter as well. Uh, Mags, I know my girl Mags always tries to make it. So, you know what? I appreciate when you guys take the effort just to even come and check me out. So, it's all good. Um, Donovan says you got that Uncle Edward. <laughs> no, not really. I just try to make it plush, you know. I'm one of those people that has like a million pillows on the bed for nothing, <laughs> for decorative. And then by the time you, you want to go and sleep, they're all knocked down to the ground. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Whole bunch of decorative shit that I don't even sleep on. <laughs> it's hilarious. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to see if we can have our producer put on like a little commercial thingy so I can change. And then uh, we can get back and then uh, I'll get my blanket and then hopefully I'll get a drink too. And we can get this thing. Okay, be back in a minute. Be back in a sec.
I'm back. Okay, some of you guys may have seen this outfit already, <clears throat> but this is my Cookie Monster. My Cookie Monster PJs, which I actually really, really love. Uh, ladies, if you are in the building, I got this from Amazon. And <clears throat> it's not like officially licensed or anything like this, but for sure, for sure, it comes in, um, I want to say it went up to like maybe 3X or 4X. So if you are on the robust side, have no fear. You can get this also. You can wear this. Super cute, super comfortable. That's the thing I like about it. The only thing is, is that when you do have to go to the bathroom, guess what? Uh, you will be taking this whole thing off. You will be butt naked. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too cold. <laughs> Let me adjust this. Hold on. Uh, hopefully it's not too cold wherever you're at and uh, booty cheeks don't get too cold. <laughs> Anyways, welcome again. Let's start from the beginning. There's 27 of us of the family, the Urban AZ Familia. Yeah, uh, we're in here now and I am your favorite nice nurse, Nurse Viv. And this is Pillow Talk here on Urban AZ, where we talk about absolutely everything and nothing at the same damn time. Isn't that amazing? And you know what? I owe that all to y'all. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, Puku, thank you again. Thanks so much for the super chat. You like that? Okay, a little bit more better, a little bit more normal. You know, sometimes I got to switch it up. I have my little crop t-shirt on, but... Guess maybe that wasn't as sexy as it could have been, right? For pillow talk. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, see, you got the little personalized icons. That's what you get if you get that little cute little membership going on. Um, again, if you do join our membership, you will have access to your own special icons. You will see um, content uh, that the normal crowd doesn't have access to, as well as seeing our content first. You get to see everything that we do and produce, you'll see that first, as well as sneak peeks of behind the scenes. And again, that kind of stuff is the stuff that not the regular crowd doesn't get to see. So anyways, now that we got that out of the way, who else is in the building? Say hello, come out of those cold YouTube streets. Let me know you are in the building. Uh, again, we're going to be talking about nothing and everything at the same time. We touched upon the, uh, what you call it, the uh, um, championship game that just went on. UConn did win. Myself, I know Paul was rooting for, <laughs> it's immaculate. <laughs> Speaking of Paul, uh, we were rooting for the underdog. Um, you know, honestly, I didn't even, it was just weird to have San Diego State in the championship anyway, just to watch them. It was kind of cool watching them go through the ranks because it's like, uh oh, wait a minute, hold up. You know, our, is this like the, our Cinderella team of the year? And it was. Uh, but realistically, nah, I don't think. I don't even know. I, does anybody know what the odds were uh, in Vegas for the game? I'm just kind of curious as to what they would have been. Hey, hello, Ace. I'm going to say, forgive me if I mess it up, but Ace broke 06. Broke, rock, or broke? I'm not sure. Uh, he says this is my he or she. <laughs> Hopefully he. But not really. I mean, you know, I, I, I take compliments from men and women. Uh, my fave onesie. Uh, I know. I like this one, too. It's very comfortable. It shows just enough cleavage, you know, but still keeps my girls covered. Keeps the girls covered where they're supposed to be. <laughs> Well, maybe to y'all, that's not what they need to be. They need to be. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Donovan says, uh, oh, they're plus 265. Wow, okay. So really nobody had San Diego State winning. <laughs> Man. So yeah, if you had uh, any bets on San Diego State, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But hopefully you made it up in, you know, maybe the side, the side wagers as far as like who was going to score the most or who's going to score the least or something. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who Do you guys know what the final score is? Because again, uh, I fell asleep <laughs> during part of it. And then I had to go to Walmart to pick up my grocery order. Um, and by the time I came back, it was completely over. So 
if you could uh, indulge me with the score, I would appreciate that as well. That would be amazing. You know, you know, you know. Uh oh, are we, uh, we're not, are we buffering? We're not buffering, are we? Okay. Because I, I can't even see, I can't even see myself. All right, let me know if we're, if we're buffering or if we're having issues, guys. Feel like I'm, but I feel like it's buffering or something. Uh oh, we lost some people. Okay, thank you, Donovan. Donovan, the score put up seventy six. Wow, yeah. yeah that's, that's kind of ugly. That's a, that's a bad way to lose on TV. It's a bad way. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry that we uh, buffered there for a hot second. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What else has been going on? A couple things I wanted to touch on. Um, David Barber asks, Nurse Viv, where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm from Arizona. I'm one state away from Vegas. That's why you will see myself uh, traveling. and uh, Or if you even look in the older videos, you'll see me in Vegas quite a bit. It's a hop, skip, and a jump, 45-minute flight, so it's very easy for me to get there. Donovan asks, how do you feel about the women's game? Well, you know what? To be honest, I wasn't able to watch the women's game, but from the highlights and from what I've been told, that that game was good. Now, what do you think about that whole controversy with the rings, rings, rings thing? It's like, it's cool if they do it, but it ain't when I do it. I thought that was a little bit of a controversy too. I mean, I know that they kind of, the girls on LSU, they kind of went a little overboard with it, but I understand why. I'm not saying it's right. Like Chris Fox says, I ain't saying it's right, but I understand. Because, you know, hey, trying to get in that girl. I mean, that one girl from, uh, now I'm just like blanking on the other team. Um, I was going to say Utah. I think Idaho. No, Idaho? Was it Idaho? Dang, I got some bad memory. I'm starting to be... <laughs> <laughs> like my patients. <laughs> but anyways, you know, they just they just wanted to, yeah, they just wanted to trash talk. They just, I don't know. <laughs> they just wanted, I, I didn't think it was a problem either. I mean, they was just doing, shoot, the dudes do worse. I've seen, definitely seen worse, worse like in the NBA. So uh, D-Ware says women's game was better than the men's. Ah, uh, yeah, I've heard that. I have heard that comment, definitely. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that the women's final was better than the men's final? And I think that uh, that might have been the first time, I don't know, that probably been the first time that that's happened where the, the women's has been better than the men's. <laughs> because I have to be honest with you, I have a hard time watching WNBA. Like, Every season I try, I try so much, but it's like, I just, when I see too much falling, I just get very disinterested. <laughs> I just, when I see too many bodies on the floor too much, I get disinterested. So yeah, yeah. What do you think uh, you look like you got that jar? <laughs> you know what, little known fact, and this is a little Nurse Viv, uh, little known fact but i actually played basketball until my sophomore year in college yeah yep yeah. i actually did all the way until i was a sophomore in now granted it was junior college it wasn't like a division one or anything like that <laughs> but i did i i did I, I played basketball until my sophomore year in, in junior college and then i had to just let it go i was like Ugh. nope 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 
But anyways, what I was going to say before that was, what do you think it is about the WNBA? Like, what is it that's missing that makes it not like pop off? Is it just the fact that it's women playing? Is it the fact that 90% of the women are lesbian and they're kind of, you know, studdish? I mean, I don't even know if that's a fair assessment for 90%, but just of what I see, because we know they're not all, they're not all uh, lesbians, which then, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. But what is it about the league that is just making it to where it just doesn't, I mean, it's not going to obviously have the hype and the, and the excitement of the men's game because men obviously are physically superior. They're going to be able to do so much more, the dunks, all that stuff than women, but other than that, what is it that just makes it to where it's just not the same? You know, what do you not the, not not the same, but y'all know what I'm saying. I mean, what 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 can it do? I have some ideas of what it could do to make it pop more, but I want to hear what you guys think. Circus Vargas is in the building, and he says, "Viv, do you twerk?" No, I do a modified twerk. That's about it. <laughs> You know, I've lost like 20 plus pounds over the past like four months. So my little boot, my little caboose back there has shrunk a little bit, but I'm working on it. I'm about to gain 10 pounds of that back. Because <laughs> I looked at myself today. We did a, a quasi photo shoot, uh, if you will. And uh, I was like, damn, the caboose ain't caboosing like it used to caboose. <laughs> Uh, D staff is in the building. Hey, D staff. What's up? What's up? Um, he says that women are boring to watch. Really? Okay. 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 I'm not, uh, I'm not mad at you for that. That is a completely valid opinion because to be completely honest, like I said, I lose interest too. After about a quarter, maybe a half, I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Uh, let's see here. Donovan says, I think it just needs more trash talk. Hmm, interesting. Okay. D staff says that grown men have the ability to do actual damage to each other. If we chose, that's true. Paul says, I haven't seen a WNBA game in years. <laughs> well, my, maybe you could change that this year. <laughs> Wait a minute. You guys, what is you guys is, um, in, uh, I don't know if it's in Oakland or if it's in San Francisco. Y'all have a team, I know. What is you guys' called? I, I don't even know. <laughs> we are, we're the Mercury, and then I know that the, uh, what the Vegas one is. What is the Vegas one? What are the Vegas girls called? Oh, man, I forgot. That's awful. See? And I know there's the Liberty. I know the Liberty is out there. Uh, dang. I consider myself a pretty much a sports connoisseur, but I can't even remember more of the team. That's a shame. <laughs> the Aces, there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Donovan. There you go. They need a villain. Oh, okay, okay. So you're kind of along the lines with D staff that is just not violent enough, basically. <laughs> but do we really want to see women? Oh, ooh, I almost said broads. <laughs> I know for some people that's kind of offensive, but do we really want to see the broads getting down like that, though? You know, I mean, yeah, but then again, a lot of them are very studly. So maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. So that's what I'm saying. It's very confusing as to uh, what they could do. But my theory on it is I feel like they're not marketing. They need to market to their strongest supporters. And their strongest supporters are the lesbians you know what i'm saying like they need to go after them like white on rice that's what i think maybe they do i'm not part of that uh that group but they need to do more of that to get more of them to back up and then you know how the lgbtq etc etc are they're gonna push to get that shit mainstream mainstream not that WNBA is not mainstream, but you know what I mean. So I don't know. That's just my theory. I feel like they should do more within their that community, but who knows? <laughs> T staff, you said they want to be men. 
the even the studs think like men. <laughs> oh my God. Donovan says we want to see real rivalries. Has but do you think has has the league even been around long enough to to create that yet though? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good one too, yeah. D Chef says they're gonna put themselves around other men. Nah, see that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen because uh the, the women could never play with the men. I mean, there might you'll you'll get the anomalies here and there, one or two women that could possibly hang with a bench warmer, but you ain't gonna get no woman, no woman, no man, no woman, no ever, 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 never to be be able to hang and guard LeBron. It's just not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Not it's just not gonna happen, in my opinion. Uh Paul Martinez says there's the sparks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And you don't even you don't know if there's a Bay Area team. See, that's what I'm saying. We don't even know. It's like we should know. For every NBA team, there should be an equivalent. That's what I feel like. But that takes money. That takes ownership. That takes money. That takes all that. And I just, you know what I also feel, I feel like? Had Kobe Bryant, if Kobe Bryant was still here, and God rest his soul, <clears throat> if he was still here, I feel like maybe that might have changed some. Because he was starting to really get into the whole women's league and stuff because his daughter was so, you know, involved and she was a, I guess she was a baller, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I kind of think that too, had he got, had he still, would he, if he was still alive and he was still bad, he would still, he was still starting whatever projects he was doing, like backing the women's league. It might, it might have popped off a little bit more because he definitely had the money, you know, to invest in not only 18, but the whole team and then who better to be an ambassador but Kobe Bryant I mean come on worldwide worldwide famous right so they need me out there <laughs> man I fall out after doing one lap from one side to the gym to the other <laughs> oh man that's funny okay D staff is saying um Let's see here. Let me show this. If women mixed football with naked mud wrestling, maybe it would catch up. Well, you know they have the lingerie football league, the LFL. Uh, I actually watched that. And, and you know what? There was a time. I know that there was like a spinoff league to that or to the lingerie football league. But the original, I remember when it first, first popped off and me and Derek would watch it. And it actually, some of them were kind of bombing. So I don't know. I mean, it was like your arena ball style. So it was very action packed, right? But they had on like the really short booty shorts and they had the really cropped, cropped um, football jerseys. But they wore, you know, they had mouthpieces, they wore shoulder pads, they had knee pads, elbow pads, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, some of them, it was out there like, you know, putting the wood on. <laughs> And of course, there's going to be some booty, some booty shaking, and some of them have some booty. So, yeah. I kind of I kind of agree with you in that sense. You know what I mean? It's always going to be, TNA is always going to sell in some market to somebody somewhere, right? So, <laughs> uh, D-Staff is saying shorten the field and make it muddy. I don't know what the muddy part. You like them twerking after tackling a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's the thing. Like I said, TNA is always going to sell somewhere, somehow, some way to somebody, right? Somebody's going to like that. And you, it is you, you like it. So there you go. Texas Bala, welcome back. I know you were in here. You dipped in real quick. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back, Ben. Welcome to everybody who has just joined us. This is, I am Nurse Viv, by the way your favorite night nurse, and this is what we call Pillow Talk, where we are in the bed with our pillows, and we talk about absolutely everything and nothing at the same damn time. Welcome, welcome. I hope you guys like my Cookie Monster PJs. These are my favorite. Actually, out of all of them, these are my favorite because they're my most comfortable. Um, like I said, hopefully you guys like it. <laughs> What's going on? Who else is in the building? Holla at your girl. Come out of those cold YouTube streets. Say what's up. 
Let me know what's going on. Let me know, let me know. Uh, anyway, so we're actually marching down. Um, we are marching down, down, down to NBA playoffs. Uh, I know that Paul is going for those Golden State Warriors. How about Sacramento, though? That's actually my hometown in California, and nobody, you want to talk about an underdog, nobody thought that they was going to be tearing it up like they're tearing it up right now. Like what? Light the beam. <laughs> like that beam, as corny as it sounds, they lighten the beam. Okay, for real, for real. Big P, what's going on? Gila River, hey, Arizona representing. Welcome, friend. Welcome, welcome. You know how we get down in Pillow Talk? Mike Brown, Coach of the Year. Facts. Big facts on that. I feel like if they keep the coach, if they keep Mike Brown, because he's a proven coach, um, keep the core they have right now. Because basically, if you know from last year, they got rid of like three or four people midseason, which was like blew everybody's mind. Um, if they keep the core of young guys now, um, and because these guys are balling, they're running and gunning because they have nothing to lose. Nobody knows them with the exception of like, what one, oh, what's the name? I forget. I, my mind's all over the place. But anyway, with the exception of the one dude that went to the uh, all-star game, all the rest of them are relative no names, right? So they have nothing to lose. They're playing their hearts out. If they keep those guys and maybe add like one more piece Bro, they might be able to do that shit again next year. I mean, I know it's hard every year to come back when you won a championship. It is very difficult. But I, I don't know. I don't know. They may be able They may be able to do something again. But that's just me. Uh, let's see here. Texas Ball says I'm a Mavs fan, but they won't make the play. No, yeah, the Mavs. Yeah, oh, no, they won't. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Tone Lokes Buds. Hi, beautiful. You looking this morning? You have Instagram. Yes, yes. Are you here from Instagram? Welcome to everybody who's here from different platforms. If you just stumbled in, <laughs> thank you for stumbling in. Uh, make sure you please, if you hit that like button, I would appreciate it. It helps the channel, of course. Uh, let's see here. Thank you, Fox. That's my, Darren Fox is my mom's favorite player. She loves him to death. She's loved him for like the past, what, three years. That's her dude. And Sabonis, yes. Yep. Paul says, hey, Texas Baller, how did you feel about Kyrie joining your team? Yeah, that was interesting, huh? Donovan says, yeah, they might be as good as the Weber Kings. Oh, man, that was my era of the Kings, bro. Oh, my God. When they lost in the playoffs to the Lakers, I think I may have shed a thug tear or two. I was so hurt because that was the era. That's when they had, um, wasn't it now? Um, I can always, I, I know uh, Stoyakovich was on that team. <laughs> Remember him? <laughs> um, Bobby, what's his name? I mean, that was just a good era of Kings Ball because it was, it was very similar to what was going on now, even though they had some names. Um, wasn't Doug Christie on the team? I think Doug Christie was on that team too, maybe. Or maybe I might be confusing the years. I don't know. But anyways, that's when they were rolling in. Nothing to lose. Nobody believed in Sacktown, right? Shaq was always talking about talking shit. <laughs> Lakers was always talking. That's when my true hate for the Lakers. I'm sorry if there's any Lakers fans in the building. But I cannot stand the Lakers. I don't like the Lakers. I don't like the building. I don't like the fans. I mean, you know, if you in here, uh, no shade. But it just, ooh. That's when it started with me, when I'm just like, mm, no. Now, I'm a LeBron fan. I will always be a LeBron fan, but I just, I can't take the Lakers. I always hope he does good individually, and I hope he never gets hurt. But the Lakers, yeah, they can go uh, take a hike. <laughs> Bibby, there you go, my boy Bibby. Yeah, Doug Christie was on the team. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. So, but how, and also, how about the Suns? My team, my home, my hometown, I'm not a hometown hater. I do support the Suns also. Uh, you know, now that they got KD, man, when he first got on the team, it was like, oh my God, it was like, 
the sons have no excuse. They have to go. They're going to be this. They're going to be that. But I was just like, oh, hold on a minute. Hold your horses. The sons have a very bad habit of putting the, putting the cart before the horse. For the past three years, they've done that. They get all hyped. They drink the Kool-Aid themselves. They believe the hype. And then they fucking lose. <laughs> they fucking lose. Like last year, that had to have been the worst. The fucking worst. How do you end up the season so good and then just stage too big in the playoffs like that? That was the worst. That was worse than the year before when they actually got was doing something. Do you remember? Do y'all remember that when the sun? <laughs> they came home. They came home, y'all. They showed them coming home to our airport, Sky Harbor Airport. They had fans waiting for them. We had a parade, all kind of stuff. And they didn't even win the championship yet. This was for a win in the playoffs. Who does that? What the? Oh my God. Ever since then, it's just like, I have to hold my breath. It's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see this year. I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Donovan says, Chris Paul is a jinx. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? He's, you know, he, he's got that wisdom, that playoff experience, but you think, you think it's because of him? Hmm. That's interesting. Manny Scholes is in the building. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is the squad right there. It was Vladi Divox, Mike Bibby, Peja Stoyakovic, C. Webb, Bobby Jackson, OG Bobby Jackson, that's what I used to call him, and Doug Christie. That shit was fire. They was, ooh, man, they was balling out of control. That was, like I said, that was a good year. Man, that was a good year. It, it ended tragically. Like I said, I may or may not have shed a couple thug tears when they lost to the Lakers, ironically. Uh, but, uh, man, that was some ball. That was some ball. That kind of, like, gave Sacramento, kind of put Sacramento on the map a little bit. And then after that, they just completely fell off the cliff. <laughs> For, like, I don't know, like, what? Eight years after that, they just fell off the cliff. <laughs> Oh my God. Thank you, Manny. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. You know, my brain, my brain starts getting fogged up when I start thinking, because I'm always thinking other stuff at the same time. <laughs> Donovan says, yeah, but the, he never wins. He had a great team with the Clippers also. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You're right. You, you're right. That is one thing that's missing off his, off his resume. Straight up. Straight up. It is. Um, Hold on a second here. Let me see. Uh, um, 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 um. Subscribe to a text here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let me see here. Paul Martinez chimes in. He says, Donovan, I like the clip of Steph putting Chris Paul on skates. Oh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Hey, Chris Paul's old man in, in sports, uh, if you want to talk in sports age, not dog years, but in sports years. <laughs> He's an old man. <laughs> Basketball and football is a young man sport, both of them. I mean, it's like, it's definitely geared towards the youth. So the older you are, you got to play smarter, not harder. That's my, that's my motto at work. <laughs> I got to work smarter, not harder. Ooh, child. Oh my God. Let me see here. Uh, D staff is asking me the age old question. Do your does your back ever hurt because of your boobs? Sometimes, but not. They're actually not. They appear much bigger than they really are. Um, 
but for the most part, no. I have a pretty strong back. My shoulders and my back are very strong. Um, even when I don't work out, I have very strong shoulders and backs. So one thing I do do is like we have, you know, those five gallon, um, is it five gallon, you know, at the water cooler one, the water cooler, like the big ones. Whenever we run out, because we have two of them in my unit, I always make sure to volunteer to be the person to go and get the water. And so that just I is part of like my exercise <laughs> when I'm at work because I take it and then I almost kind of like, now I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I almost like, you know, like kettlebell, you know, when you just kind of kettlebell, but I mean, I use, I hold on to the handle and I hold on to the bottle and I just, I, I use my legs when I bend. I bend from the legs and I'm like, oof, oof. And I put it on my shoulder and then I walk, I balance it. And then I walk with that big, the water thing on my shoulder. And then I go from where we keep it in the supply room all the way to the other side of the unit and then come back and then I get another one and then go on the other side like that. And I'll put it on the other side so I can work this shoulder. You know what I mean? So, but anyways, Back when I was working out consistently, I've always had very, very strong shoulders. So, yes. So, no. My back, very rarely. I very rarely have back issues. Knock on wood. I'll knock on my head. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I try to... I walk a lot, though. I walk a lot at work. So, especially, uh, I just had some more responsibility put on me. Um, as far as my workload and my units go. So I'm constantly walking. I, I walk probably a minimum of four, four to five miles a day. So that has also been contributing to my weight loss. <laughs> Literally carrying jugs. I see what you did there. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> anyway, but man. They certainly don't pay me enough. They don't pay me my worth, I'll tell you that. Shit, for all the work I am doing, including hauling the jugs, the V's and the water. <laughs> but at work though, you can't really tell I have breasts like because I wear like a sports bra, it's kind of like a minimizer, so you don't really see a lot. A lot, a lot. Well, when I was heavier, you could tell probably because the top would be a little on the tighter side, but now I don't think you can really tell unless you're really, really looking, you know what I mean? But I work at night, so not that many people see me anyway. And I like it like that. I do enjoy it like that. So yeah, I'll show you guys the full um, outfit. So if, as you can see, like I said, it's a one piece. See? Kind of rolls up right here a little bit, but it doesn't have like the little flap or anything like that. It's just like a regular plane in the back and it has like a sip of long sleeves, but I like it. I think it's really cute. And it, I, I just call it my cookie monster because it reminds me of, because it's the exact same colors of cookie monster, right? So. I like it. Ugh. Let's see what we got here. Hey, Marcus Nacho. Welcome, welcome. You are in the building. Thank you so much for the super chat. Marcus says, or Nacho, should I say, says, the star of the show always gets the admiration as she should because she's heavenly blessed. Be oh, you are the, you, you are, not only are you a sweetheart, you are a wordsmith. Oh, chef's kiss. Seldom does the guy behind the scenes get the credit he deserves. We seem to appreciate you, D-Ware. Oh, so, so that was for Derek then, not for me. I see, I see how you are. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to let him have this one, Nacho. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> I am playing. Donovan says amazing. <laughs> Nigel says, just dropping in to hit that like and show a little love. I'm tired, so I'll be heading to bed soon. Have a great night. Well, thank you. Sweet dreams, my friend. We'll do it again. This was very impromptu. I, I was really, I wanted to talk a little basketball, talk, a, you know, the final four and stuff like that. So I keep saying it's the final four. It wasn't the final four. It was the championship game. 
<laughs> it was the actual championship. Yes, yes. Let's see. We've got 29 of us in here. Welcome, everybody. I want to say welcome again. Um, I am your favorite night nurse, Nurse Viv. I am in the building, as you are as well. And uh, this is officially Pillow Talk, where we are, we are all in the bed together. Yeah, we're in the bed together. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Oh, Lord, have mercy. That'll be just what, a cuddle puddle? Is that what they call it? The, a cuddle puddle? <laughs> but be careful. You don't want any balls on your back. <laughs> Seems to be more dues than... <laughs> Or any nut sacks on your back. It's like, oh, is that a is that a pencil in your pocket? Is that a cucumber in your pocket? <laughs> oh, I'm being silly. Hey, Fonz, my New York friend. Fonz seven one eight says stopping by to say hello to the beautiful nurse Fifth. Hello, my East Coast friend. Man, let's see what time is this. Oh, it must be like three o'clock in the morning for you, but I think you're working, right? You work at night. You work at night like me. So, all right, appreciate you. Please hit that thumbs up if you could. I would appreciate that as well. I want to make a drink. I would like to, I would take you into my kitchen so I can make my little dranky drink, but uh, my kitchen's a little dirty right now. My son, just made, he just made himself some food, so... I don't even want to know. Yeah, I think he blew the kitchen up. <laughs> oh, my God. Jay Poppy is in the building. He says, you totally have an amazing rack. It's a place of training. <laughs> Thank you, I think. <laughs> I think. I don't know. <laughs> Fawn says, yep, overnight shift. Yeah, yeah. Us night shift people, we're just, we're just different. <laughs> We are different. It's definitely not for everybody. I'll tell you that. I will tell you that. Because it's difficult. It's like, you know, staying up all night when most people were, when your body is telling you you need to be sleeping and then sleeping in the day when there's the sun out. It's not, it's not for everybody. Not everybody can do it. But me, I've perfected. I have like a method, like blackout. Well, actually my blackout curtains, they're supposed to be black out, but they ain't blacking out shit. What blacks out is this little bad boy right here. See this? This right here by a brand called, it's probably backwards for you guys, but it's called Music Cozy. These are actually Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth in here. And it has these really flat speakers. Let me see if I can put one out. See that? See how flat that speaker is? Look. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it lays completely flat um, so that when you lay on your side, I'm not going to say it's completely 100% comfortable, but it's cool. I mean, I don't, it doesn't bother me. I'm used to it by now, but um, that way you can Bluetooth, you know, like podcast or whatever relaxing music like me, I listen to um, rain, storm, thunder sounds or whatnot. Um, and that always puts me to sleep like that. But this, um, it has like the memory foam, like in the eye area, which I like because I wear lash extensions. So I don't need anything pressing down on my eye area. It's kind of lifted up, but it's still like hella black. Like I don't see nothing. Even if I were to open my eyes, it's like pitch black um, and that, it works. That is, this was worth every penny of my $20. Actually, I think I need to get another one though because the memory foam is starting to get a little bit flat. I mean, you're supposed to be able to wash it and stuff, but does it really come back? Cause this is like my second one. No, not really. But anyway, you control everything like right there on this little panel and it's, it's like raised. So, when you put it on, you can just use your fingers. You, I mean, you got to remember what's on, off. Uh, you can skip tracks. You can turn the volume up. You can turn it down. You know what I mean? But it's all controlled, like, right there. See that? This is really cool. If, you, if you're somebody who, like, you're a light sleeper, too, this would work for you. And it comes in, like, a variety of colors. 
um, and it's uh, USB rechargeable. Very important. And I actually have one that's specifically just for when I travel. I, I keep it in my suitcase. Um, so I have one at home that always just stays here. And then I have another one for when I travel. So, all right, let me catch up on that. Comments. Donovan says, when is the OnlyFans dropping? Um, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still working on the kink. I'm trying to get the kinks out on my Instagram. For my subscriptions I'm still trying to figure out what's acceptable what's not um but for now i'm just working like i said with that and then also here the subscriptions here um i was telling everybody earlier that i'm going to be dropping like specific content just for subscribers um and that'll be like my content that you might see like on instagram but um, if that doesn't work out for me, like if I can't figure out the um, Instagram thing, I don't know. I may go over there. It's still there's still like a stigma attached. Why do you think there's such a stigma attached? Because I know there's people who have OnlyFans that don't like show any skin whatsoever. But why do you think it's such a stigma? Because, I mean, obviously I'm still a professional. I still have, you know, credentials and, and stuff like that. So I don't want people automatically thinking I'm going over there and I'm busting it wide open <laughs> you know what i'm saying but why do you think that i don't know um texas Ballas says when is the next vegas trip uh you know what i'm not exactly sure i gotta get to uh i gotta go home i gotta go to cali first i gotta go uh, visit some family so i'm gonna do that first so probably not until oh maybe may maybe the beginning of may but you never know if i can catch like a good flight on like Frontier or and then get, um, I'm always getting sent like specials and stuff um, because of tier status through MGM. Um, oh, speaking of, you know what? I was calculating out like if I was to go, if I would have went to Vegas like uh, today, I could have done a round trip, like just like a day, like a 24 hour thing um, for less than $130. I'm talking staying at Mandalay Bay and a round trip flight. Would you would you guys be interested in something like that? Like following me for like a 24 hour uh, trip to Vegas where I, you know, I'm just going for the day because I want to, you know, do some live streaming. I want to vlog, um, eat, of course, <laughs> of course. Um, and then, you know, getting in and you guys come with me like all throughout that 24 hours until that time that I get on that first thing smoking to get back home. Would you guys be interested in something like that? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Let me know. Texas Bala says yes. Um, Fawn says that looks awesome. Got to try one. Yeah, for sure, dude. You trust me. You'll love it. Uh, Donovan White says wear a mask. <laughs> you might not need one. Your Instagram and YouTube are already popping. Eh, it could always be better though, right? Uh, let's see. Fawn says, do you think of retiring and vlogging permanently? I don't know. I mean, I'd have to, I'd have to really be like making money. Like that would be probably the only way. And, and, you know, I worked so hard to become a nurse. I don't know if I'd ever give it up. I might, you know, still maybe work like a couple times a month just to keep my skills up, you know? Um, but I would love to be a full time do this full time, just talk to you guys and, you know, take you on my adventures, wherever that may take me. That would be amazing. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. That would be nice. Donovan says, yes, that'd be cool. Yeah. I think I want to do that. I want to do a 24 hour and just take y'all with me, you know, with the ups, the downs, and it just seems like always something cracks off. <laughs> something crazy always cracks off. So, Speaking of crazy, I'm sorry I'm looking crazy, but I've been up since about maybe maybe six o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. Um, and this is my day off, which is very unusual. Usually on my days off, half the day, I swear to God, I spend sleeping. <laughs> Sleep is essential for a night nurse. Trust me, you will want your night nurse to be sleep and like fully rested. <laughs> right? You don't want no sleep deprived nurse. 
<laughs> giving you medications and giving you shots and IVs. Nah, that wouldn't be a good idea if I, <laughs> if I was sleep deprived. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I said all that to say I'm looking a little crazy right now, but I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me. Appreciate y'all for sure. Let's see here. Uh, Indio Nopales has popped in. He's a saying, Nurse Viv, I got a question. Are all of Urban AZ from Arizona? I am a fan. Well, welcome. Thank you again for popping in. Um, you know what? No, we are not all from Arizona. We've got uh, somebody that's local there in Vegas. We've got actually a couple, couple people that are local in Vegas. And then we've got um, two SoCal. Um, you got your boy, Jose the people's moderator and uh, the hump king. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Twinkle toes himself. He's from Southern California. And uh, so is Lindsay. Lindsay, the another, the, another people's favorite, another people's favorite host, Miss Lindsay. Shout out to Lindsay. Shout out to Lindsay. She always does an amazing job. Everybody loves Lindsay. Not everybody hates Chris, but everybody loves Lindsay, including myself. Shout out to Lindsay and Jose. Uh, they're both from SoCal. So we're kind of like in a little triangle. You know? And I think it's good because that way you're getting a perspective from somebody who's local that does actually a couple of people that live there are Rita actually stays in Vegas too. So we've got a couple um, that are in Vegas that live there in the scene. Shout out to Rita and Sarah, of course. Um, and then you've got us here in Arizona, very close. And uh, like I said, we've got Redub and Jose, I'm sorry, um, Lindsay and Jose in Southern California. We're all a hop, skip, and a jump for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> yep, yeah, the Farah says shout, Lindsay does it. Shout out to her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's definitely a fan favorite, and we love Lindsay's abilities behind the camera. She's amazing in front of the camera and uh, in back of it. She does such a good job reading comments and responding to everybody. I appreciate her beyond measure. So again, shout out to our girl Lindsay. For show, for show. Uh, Paul says, I don't want a sleep deprived nurse like I don't want a sleep deprived pilot. Word up. That's what I'm talking about. Neither one ain't no good. <laughs> Train, train operator, Uber driver, Amazon driver, uh, you know, they make sure they got to get my packages on time. Okay, you feel me? So get your rest, Amazon driver. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> oh my God. Fawn says, are the night shifts crazy in your city like in New York? It's a madhouse. Bro, I think everywhere the night shift is just, that's when the weirdos come out. You know, remember that song, the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. It's true. It's true. And especially, and don't let it be a full moon. Ooh, Lord. I don't care what nobody say. Full moons bring out the worst in people. And that's why I'm so glad I do not work in the ER. Although one day I would like to get a little bit of ER experience just to have that under my belt on my resume. But uh, yeah. People do the weirdest shit. And I think, honestly, it has something to do with, like, the tides and the barometric pressure and all that shit. And also, like, you know, when, like, old people, or not, and I can't even say all old people, how people say, uh, like, when it rains, their bones, they can feel it in their bones. That shit is true. It has something to do with the barometric pressure. It does affect um, the pressure that's in our atmosphere, and you will be sore. I know that there's probably somewhere on Google that will back me up on that, but <laughs> for now, we're just going to call it a, nur a nurse viv rule. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. But anyways, shout out to everybody here tonight, all 29 of us, because we ain't talking about nothing. Well, we've talked about a couple things. Um, we've talked about basketball. We've talked about what? Basketball of all, we talk about women's basketball. Sneak, sneak so. of a video in about 10 minutes. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I was just informed that you guys, guess what? Y'all get to see a sneak peek of some new content in about 10 minutes. So I hope you stay tuned. 
But yeah, we've got some new content uh, that's been produced and you guys will see a very quick smidgen of that. Uh, subscribers will get to see a lot more. So I'm telling you, if you guys can, you know, if, if you uh, got your coins, your coins, right? Um, and if you can spare to do it, you know, become a member. You'll get to see a couple of things that we do uh, behind the scenes and you'll get to see everything first. You'll get to see some of your girl doing some things, showing a little extra skin, maybe. You'll have to see. You'll have to join and find out. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see. What do you guys normally do on a, on a Monday night? Me, I never have to work on Mondays, which is amazing. No matter, I do rotating shifts, so it's like every other weekend I have to work. Um, but the one thing is you'll never see me on a Monday. The building will never see my ass on a Monday. So I usually, like I said, I'm usually sleep half the day, but today was a very productive day. <sighs> I need a snack. I have, I see, I went to Trader Joe's today and I bought some cookies, so I'm going to grab these cookies real quick. <laughs> okay, so I've got these. They just looked good. I hope they taste good, but they're French chocolate crepe wafer cookies. See that? So we're going to try them together, all of us, right now. I always feel like when we... um. Do pillow talk like I, I need to have a snack so hopefully you have a snack too Ooh. although we shouldn't really be eating this late but for me it's normal this is about the time when I get to actually sit down and have something so. all right let's see here we got uh Indio says shout out to Urban AZ I love y'all you're the best doing it thank you thank you so much we love you back for sure J. Poppy says, let's talk about your amazing, sexy, hot rack. <laughs> well, I guess we could. I mean, I don't know if the ladies would appreciate it, but I haven't seen any ladies pop up yet, so. Mmm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. It's like really light layers of like cookie wafer. Mmm. Mm. Oh, shit. They're super, oh, super light. <laughs> this could be dangerous. One thing about the rat is that sometimes when I eat, stuff will drop. <laughs> and if there's something I really like, I just... <laughs> I swear. Don't tell anybody I told you that, but big titty girls, we all do it. <laughs> mm. Don, this is I'm making love to the cookie. It's good. I didn't know anything about this cookie, but I know now this shit is bomb. Mmm. It's different, but I like it because it's um it's very light. Oh, does anybody know? Is it Girl Scout cookie time or did I miss it? Cause usually my girl, she um she has nieces that are Girl Scouts, and then <clears throat> they have website now and everything. So if you miss them on the street selling them, you can just go to the website and you can just order them. Um, but anyway, her nieces, they live on the other side of town, but she'll say, oh, you know, it's time or whatever. I'm going to have to hit her. She doesn't hit me. That's weird. So maybe I didn't miss it. But anyway, um, I just order through the website and then she gets it to me. She delivers, she delivers them to me. And then her nieces get the credit and whatnot. So, um... Fawn718 said, hidden gems for later. <laughs> it's almost over. Really? Okay. I got to hit my girl. She let me down this year. 
because I will tell you what you guys is favorite if you indulge in the um, Girl Scout cookie which one is your favorite because I'm gonna tell you my favorite is a tie actually it's a tie between the peanut butter which is the I think it's called dosi dos the dosi dos and the thin mint those are like I have to have one box of those off top I'm ordering that off top those are the two put me down and then after that like my son and my husband they like the just the plain shortbread I don't know what those are called but it's in the blue box like blue like this they be killing them Fawn says thin mints hand down oh and don't put them in the freezer Ooh. Hercules, Hercules. Mm. Paul says the Samoa. Stop, I forgot. I completely forgot. Man, those Samoas. Is it Samoas or Samosas? That's the one that's like the little, the ring. And it has the chocolate cover. And then it has the caramel. And then it has the coconut on it. Boy, you better stop. Stop it. Man, my mouth is watering when I was thinking about it. <laughs> How am I mouth watering while I'm already eating some other cookie? <laughs> That's how much inner fat girl I have. <laughs> Ooh, those are so good. Oh, my God. So, okay. So, off top, I have to get a box of peanut butter, the thin mint, and I always do get a box to freeze so that I can have it later. And then um, Samoa or Samosa, however we pronounce it or whatever. Ooh, yes. And then I venture out and I'll usually like try, you know how they like, like they'll introduce a new cookie. I'll, I'll try one. I'll try it. I remember one time they had a, it was like cranberry something. That shit was dry as fuck. Oh my God. It like literally, I took a bite and it disintegrated and it was just, just, flavorless I, they they didn't bring it back the next year i'm so glad that shit was whack it was awful uh let's see here indio says i like burners og uh girl scout cookies what is that is that weed or something fawn says i wanted to try the raspberry rally raspberry Ra that, that's new for this year okay i'm gonna have to look out for that you know, in fact, I'm going to text my, my girl right now and say, what's up? Let's see. Hey, did I miss Girl Scout cookie, cookie ordering this year from the girls? She has two nieces that do it. Okay, so let's see what she says. Hmm, I don't know, it's not going through for some reason, but anyway. Is my internet connected? Yeah, I mean, I'm talking to you guys, so obviously. Hmm. That's weird. Anyway, let's see here. Zach B, what's up, my friend? He says, What up, Viv? What up, Zach? You know how we do it. We're here in Pillow Talk talking about absolutely everything and nothing at the same damn time <laughs> while I sit up here in my uh cookie monster onesie pajamas uh I just had a damn did I eat three did I eat three that quickly how many years in one little row let me see oh there's three in each little row I ate three that quick why don't tell me something 
That's okay. I'm trying to gain some weight back anyway, so. <laughs> That's awful. They're like, they're really light and crisp like chips. It's like, you know, you can just, you know, when you start eating chips, you just start <laughs> mindlessly eating. Next thing you know, the whole bag is gone. Even though, have y'all noticed though, especially now, I feel like when you buy like, let's just say a bag of Ruffles or Lay's or whatever, half that shit is air. It is not like how it used to be. It is not, not even the single bags, but like the big bags are the worst offenders. That shit is like a quarter of it is chips and then the rest is just puffed. <laughs> puffed up with air to protect them or whatever. But the little, even the little bags, the mini bags, it's like, oh, man, like the kind you get, like if you buy a sub or something like that, I'd be so disappointed. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I got some chips left. No, you got crumbs left. That's about it. <laughs> Paul Martinez asks, what new movies have you seen lately? You know, I haven't seen any movies. I've been watching more like um, series. Like, does anybody watch Snowfall on uh, FX? I've been watching that. I've been watching... Um, uh, the Godfather of Harlem. I've been watching BMF. I've been watching like series like that. So I haven't gone to, I haven't gone to the movies in forever, but I really want to go because I don't know what it is. Like I could eat a full dinner, like be on itis status level. Like I'm so full. Go to the movies and I have to have some popcorn. I have to have some popcorn and a soda at minimum. Okay, we're not even talking about the candy part because I can kind of go without the candy. But the popcorn with the butter, with the melted butter, oh no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I have to have at least a small. <laughs> I will make myself sick because I have to have that popcorn. And you know what? I uh, The last time I went, oh my God, I have to have like a little side of jalapenos. That's how you know I live in the Southwest. Pickle, the little pickled jalapenos, I gotta have that on side too. One time I even dumped them into the popcorn. <laughs> and uh, allegedly, I still bring my own snacks from like the dollar store. Cause you know, you can get the boxed candy, which is the same shit that they sell at the uh, thing. They sell it to you for $5, but you can get it for a dollar. <laughs> so I bring my own shit. I'm gonna still do it, I don't care. Uh, let me see here. I have not, Paul says, I, uh, Fawn says Snowfall is awesome. I know, it's, it's, it got good. A couple, there are a couple of the episodes were a little iffy, but now that we're rolling, oh my God, with Teddy and uh, frankly killing his dad and all that's oh my God. And now Louie, um, not Louie, but uh, her husband Jerome is gone. Ooh, child, I'm trying to figure out what is, what is she going to do? What is that girl, what is that bra going to do? I don't know. Oh, and you know what? It's on on Thursday. I picked up half the shift on Thursday too, but it comes on late out here at 11. I get off at 12. So I can come home, straight home, take a shower, get up in the bed with my snacks. Oh, we might do a post snowfall pillow talk. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Paul says, I haven't seen Snowfall, but it does look good. Yeah, you got you to gotta watch it. It's good. Uh, Donna says, have you watched Bella? I have watched. Uh, you know what? I actually, I have watched it. Um, where Carlton is dark skin <laughs> and he's got anxiety. Yeah, I've watched it. It's actually pretty good. I'm impressed. Aunt Vivian. <laughs> Aunt Viv. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. The only thing I don't like is like, Will, he's got like that, uh, what was the movie where the Ethiopians, they took over, they were like pirates, and the guy goes, I'm the captain now. He is, yeah, he he looks like he's Ethiopian to me. His eyes are so big, like they're, Ethiopians have those very big eyes. And so when I see him, it just doesn't, it just doesn't completely fit like with Will Smith, but I don't know. Will Smith can never be replaced, right? So I, don't know, I just I just take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, I have watched it. It's very good. And actually, little fat fun fact here: um, one of Derek's teammates from college at Texas A&M, his daughter plays Hillary in Bel Air, the beautiful dark-skinned sister. 
That is his teammate, his former teammate's daughter. Gorgeous. That girl is stunning. She's absolutely stunning. And she's a good little actress too, if I add so myself. Captain Philip. Yes. See, y'all know everything. I don't have to think about anything. I could just be like, I could describe it and you guys always come through. <laughs> Shout out to you. Shout out to you, uh, Donovan. That's exactly what I was talking about. Paul says, I'm still waiting for season three of the sci-fi show Resident Alien. That sounds like something Derek will watch, for real. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm the captain now. <laughs> All the memes, dude. Remember that? Um, Coco. Yeah, yeah. That brought us bad. That girl is bad. She is bad. She's beautiful. Got just good shape. Just beautiful face. Beautiful face. I like how they kind of flipped people. You know what I mean? Like, like Aunt Viv, she's not light skinned. Like the well, the last, the first, the first Aunt Viv was dark skinned. Then the new one was light skinned, and now in Bel Air, she's kind of like medium dark skinned. And then like Hillary was light skinned, but now she's dark skinned. Carlton was light skinned, but now he's dark skinned. I kind of like how they flipped it up a little bit. It's kind of cool. And it's, the writing's not bad. The writing's not bad, I must say. Keep Kept me engaged. I mean, I'm not really hard to, I'm not really, I'm like, I'm not as hard and as harsh a critic as a lot of people are like, Derek, he be tearing shit apart. Like if it's, <laughs> if he sees one thing corny, he's like, oh, this is, this is trash, this is garbage. <laughs> oh my God. Colin Manning, hello, welcome. Um, he says the best movie ever made is free on YouTube. It's called School Dance. Oh, really? Okay. Give me a short synopsis. Uh, or would that be giving away too much? But uh, duly noted, I will look that up. And it's free, huh? It's free on YouTube. Okay. School Dance, not to be confused with School Days, but School Dance. Okay. Appreciate it. Appreciate you coming out of those cold YouTube streets to tell me that too. I'm always looking for stuff like that. Derek always says I don't watch TV. I'm just selective about what I do watch. I don't just like randomly just keep the TV on and just watch, you know, my local TV. No, I don't do that. I just don't have, honestly, I don't have time for that. Um, but if there's something specific I want to watch, like, like I said, like Snowfall, I make sure to watch it and then if I miss it, I'll watch it like uh, later on, on my own time. So, yeah, 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 yeah. School dance, okay, I'm gonna remember that. I will remember that. Did anybody, um, I don't know if you guys, or if anybody was here from the last pillow talk, but I was talking about that special on, um, not special, but the show on Netflix, it was called um, How to Make a Sex Room. Did anybody ever watch it? I'm gonna watch it again. That shit was so good. I loved, I loved every, that is, um, she actually, the lady from that's in England, she actually designed a room for this family. It was like a polyamorous family. And um, they actually had a cuddle puddle room where there was a drain. <laughs> There was a drain in the room, man. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> puddle, hence puddle. I mean, you don't want it to just be pooling. <laughs> Whatever it is that could pool, you don't want it pooling, right? So, yeah, there was a drain. <laughs> uh, I'd be, you know, I'd like to be a fly on the wall on there. A golden shower room. Did you see it? Did you see that? Did you see it? Yeah, because I think it was. I actually think it was a golden shower room. Um, but yeah, I would like to be a fly on the wall. Because I did that one, I think one of, there was, like, she designed, like, this little, like, little, it was kind of like a little back room where this one cat that he liked to photograph, he was, like, the voyeur of the group, um, he could go and he could, you know, take pictures or take video. I would assume it'd probably be more video so he could zoom in and see what was going on, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but yeah, he yeah, she she tricked that room out. That was pretty interesting. Uh, am I? Yeah, I am. <clears throat> aren't we all though to a certain extent? I mean, I don't know. I like I like it's interesting to me. I mean, uh, I watch porn. I watch it. I mean, it's interesting to see. I mean, you know, porn's not real. Obviously, it's not real. Like, but I do like like amateurs. The amateurs. <laughs> I do like to watch the amateurs because, I mean, because they're also acting to a certain extent too, you know what I mean? Because they know they're on the camera and Pornhub, uh, like if you're on Pornhub or whatever and, and you're actually making money with them. So, you know, of course you're going to put on a show, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Donovan said, I definitely am. I heard that. Ain't no shame in my game. Let that freak flag fly. <laughs> Say that five times fast. But yeah, it's interesting. I mean, <clears throat> you shouldn't compare yourself, A, to porn. That's one thing I really want to emphasize to the fellas out there. You cannot expect a real life woman to compare to what the porn stars are doing because you have to understand, I mean, these women have hours worth of preparation time. They do unnatural things for unnatural amount of time that you yourself probably would not be able to do. <laughs> so they're, they have the ability to take breaks and, you know, get powdered up, which I need to powder up right now. I need to put some makeup on, to be honest, but here I am. But that's neither here nor there. But honestly, I mean, you just don't expect your woman to just don't compare them to that, you know, because it's, not, it's unrealistic it's, and it's not fair. And, and, and it goes the flip side too, you know, you can't expect your man to be this whatever, whatever you're watching, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just fun. It's just fantasy. It's just fun. And you can't let it control your life, right? Right. So. But that's my opinion. Anyways, but uh, yeah, I do like to watch. I like a good little porn clip here and there, you know? I, I, if you're on Twitter, shit, it's all smut now. I get my fill every day. Every time I get on that app, I'm like, God damn. Okay. All right. Let me see. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Fawn says, uh, you know what? I accidentally hit the wrong button. Can you retype that? I'm sorry. You said something about the women, how they look on there. Donovan says amateurs is a cool category. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, you have your favorites. Um, what's your favorite category, though? Like, uh, you know, surprisingly, surprisingly, my least watched category is threesomes. I do not watch that very often. Uh, sometimes, like, if it just comes across, I'll watch it. But whether it's, you know female, female, male, or male, male, female, or female, female, female. I don't really watch male, 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 <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just not my thing, you know, it's just not my thing. I'd rather see the one-on-one, -on -one. you feel me? The one-on-one, -on -one. the key into the lock. <laughs> oh, my God. Donovan says, I only follow porn and sports on Twitter. Facts, me too. That's pretty much all it is. I mean, that's what I'm looking for as well. I'm trying to see what Stephen A is talking about, you know? Okay, so Fonz, here we go. I hit the right button this time. He says, when you're about to get it on with your spouse, how many times do you actually look like a porn star? I don't know. We're going to have to ask him. Because, um, you know what? Like, I know that when I was younger... I used to be really concerned about what I look like. Like, oh, you know, I'm, is my stomach, am I sucking my stomach in? Oh, you know, is my, am I, look, is, are my lips just gently parted? You know, am I, you know, is my leg perfectly aligned with my arm and all that? But now, shit, I don't give a damn. You're going to see all this old face. I don't care. I'm going to get there, and I'm going to get there the way I get there. And it is what it is. You're going to see all of it. You feel me? <laughs> and I, uh, 
I appreciate my uh, husband being the same way. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, it's real. It's raw. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to, I think, I don't think I look as bad as like, you know, you, you know, the cry face, you know, cry, everybody's cry face is pretty ugly. I think it looks better than my cry face. <laughs> cry face, no good. Old face. <laughs> oh my God. And Donovan says, number one is Ebony, then I'll go from there. Facts, bro. Me too. It's got to be Ebony first. I'm sorry. Ebony first. <laughs> Even if I search, it'll be whatever, whatever, Ebony. <laughs> Why do they say Ebony? Why don't they just say black? <laughs> like BBC, big black. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, it is what it is. Big and black. They're not Ebony. Ebony. And I've read <laughs> that bullshit. <laughs> Fawn says, I'm saying in general, we don't look like that. That's why I am right. Yes, yes. You are you are absolutely right. Yep. <laughs> Donovan says vintage porn is lit also. Oh, you like them, you like the hairy puss, huh? That's that vintage where everybody's got a bush. <laughs> and some of the girls got a bush under their arms too. Have you seen that? That's kind of going way back, but. <laughs> but you know what though? Hey, the hair is there for a reason. I mean, to me personally, I don't like a bunch of hair, especially when it's hot because I live in a very hot climate because you know I sweat and for some reason I sweat more there. I always say I sweat in the most inappropriate areas than I do in my underarms. My underarms, I don't really have an issue with like underarm sweat or or even funk for that matter. I mean, it'll get a little bit right, but you know, I don't be one of those people where you can smell me a mile away. No, not at all. And I definitely don't be showing like the underarm wet spot. Hardly, hardly ever, if any. Okay, and I get that from my mom. My mom's the same way. Little bit on the upper lip, little bit here depending upon you know how much exertion but i'm not like a huge dripper like some people drip mm -mm, not at all but downstairs oh shit oh my god i will never wear gray i try to avoid gray in the summertime i try to avoid any light colors because it will look like i peed literally that's how much i sweat in that area <laughs> so anyway all that to say that mixed with, um, you know, sweat and bacteria mixed together, that's what creates smell. So I don't like that. Um, so, you know, sometimes you got to keep that shit low. Low or no. <laughs> now, y'all different. You guys are different. You know, the men are different. But I'm just saying me, my personal preference for myself. That's how I, that's how I do it. So let's see here. Let me catch up. Uh, Donovan. Okay, I read that. Fawn says, Ebony Eyes Classic Porn. <laughs> Donovan says, Pam, The Pam Greer Days. Right, right. <laughs> oh, Puku. Puku, uh, thank you for the super sticker. He says, Keep it up. Keep it up. Yes, sir. You already know. You already know. We'll be talking about some crazy shit as it gets later, huh? <laughs> There's 27 of us in here, and I know 27 of us are probably being like, what in the hell are we talking about? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I know. I, I'm the same way, though. I start with, like, you know, I've got, like, my faves and whatnot. And then it's kind of like, have you noticed it's kind of like YouTube? Like, I'll get on YouTube, and I'll watch, like, some of my favorite subscribe what i've subscribed to and then after you kind of go through that you'll see on that right side it'll just be some shit that you had never thought about looking at before <laughs> it'll be like uh you know um what is cisco doing what is cisco doing now 
you know, you click on some shit like that. But it's the same like on um, on the porn sites too. You'll be looking at something, and then if you scroll up, I mean, scroll down and start looking down, it'll be some other stuff that's kind of related in the same in the same group, <laughs> same genre, and you go, like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> They do it on purpose. You know they do it on purpose. They want that viewership. Keep you on longer they can. Let's see here. Uh, Donovan says, who's my favorite to watch? Um, you know, I really don't have a favorite. I'm kind of, like I said, I kind of get into the amateur section, and then I have people that I will subscribe to, but they ain't nobody like famous. You know what I mean? Uh, Fawn says, are you a foreplay toy type or a regular foreplay? Um, I'm kind of regular. I'm regular, but I definitely like to include um, toys. Oh, yeah. And you guys, men, please, 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 please do not think of toys as the enemy. The toys are your teammate. They're taking some of the pressure off of you guys, and they are going to help with this whole situation. That's if your girl likes them. You know, not all women prefer them, but me, I love toys. And I love to bring them in to the situation. You know what I'm saying? It just enhances for me. Love, love, love it. I got my favorites. In fact, I feel like I need to get some more, to be honest. Uh, luckily, I am. Uh, I do get emails from some of the companies who sell, like, the upper end. But you know one thing I've noticed, and people probably don't know this or not, but in order to get like a high quality one, you know, like one that's completely hypoallergenic, um, ergonomic, <laughs> believe it or not, you want something that's going to, you know, not hurt your hand no matter what angle you're using it at. Them things, them things cost a little bit. They cost a pretty penny. But in return, they last a long time. You know what I'm saying? So I haven't gotten a new one in a quite a while. So I think it's time. I think it's time. Donovan says, am I a size queen? No, not really. Not really. Um, I mean, I ain't trying to work with a button, obviously. <laughs> Thank God I don't have a button. Mine's not a button. Hell no. But uh, I always have to remind you guys about that time when I took care of this dude who literally had a button, but the man had a whole wife and seven whole kids. So that button was buttoning. <laughs> Fawn says you should get an Amazon wish list. You must have been reading my mind because I swear on oh my mama, not really, but I swear to you, this morning I was talking about that. I said, I'm going to get me a wish list and I'm going to put some items up there. And you guys, if you feel generous or you would like to see me give a review or if it's a little, you know, something, something that you'd like to see me in out of something that you could pick, pick from. I think that that would be kind of fun, actually. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. I know tomorrow at work, or tonight, should I say, at work, my first night at back at work, I'm so incredibly busy because I'm freaking cleaning up the mess from the days that I haven't been there. Because <sighs> myself and my counterpart were like the anchors of my unit. And so when we're gone, all hell kind of breaks loose. <laughs> No, not all hell, but things just get disorganized. Let's put, that's the best way to say it. So I have to spend basically three-fourths of my shift not only taking care of patients, but reorganizing what got disorganized from my days off. Because I typically usually have between two to three days off, sometimes even four days off, sometimes five days off if I plan it right. Um, so I know I probably won't have time tomorrow, tonight, but maybe the night after I'm going to work on that. And then, is that something you guys would be interested in though? Would you guys actually be interested in looking at that and maybe possibly saying, hey, you know, I would like to see her in this and, or giving a review and, you know, something like that. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. And that would be fun. I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun. Uh, Donovan says, I mean, do you like watching? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, man. Of course, of course. Of course. Do you know who Dread is? Dread? Dread is probably the biggest of the big. And I saw him actually do, um, I saw him do an interview on No Jumper. Um, I have to admit, I do watch No Jumper. I only really watch No Jumper for Sharp. 
Um, I like uh, the Shark podcast. I like his his segment. Um, but uh, anyway, he what's his name? Um, Adam have he's the guy who founded the whole No Jumper thing. Anyway, he had Dread on there, and surprisingly, dude is like pretty cool. He's like a normal cat. You you would think he'd be like kind of egotistic or whatever because dude has like a freaking just just look him up D R E D D <laughs> under BBC and you'll you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about <laughs> oh my god uh let me see here he says yeah for sure oh Fawn says yeah for sure let's do it okay that's one vote that's one vote for an Amazon wish list okay uh, Donovan White says, yeah, have you seen Brickzilla? No, I have not. Let me look that up right now. Hold on. Let's see. And you have to, you don't worry. I'm not one of those types that's like, oh, because you, you know a guy, a guy, you must be gay. But no, I mean, sex between a man and a woman includes a man. So at some point you're going to see a guy. Right. Watch oh. my cup, make sure nobody mess with Check this out real quick, you guys. Sorry, I didn't know that I was going to um, pop in there, but going to let you guys see a really quick... You, know you can do it right now. We're going to show a really sneak peek of this of this cute little clip that I've been working on for you guys. Huh? Oh, have you guys seen the movie Friday? If y'all know Friday with Smokey and Ice Cube and everything like that. This is like a little play, I, a play on that that I am that I did that I want to uh, show you guys. I'm gonna show you a really small clip. Go ahead, Derek. Go ahead. Watch my cup. Make sure nobody mess with me. Damn, I knocked the dust off that pussy. Damn. Hi, Miss Parker. Hi, boy. Good. We gonna let me fuck, Miss Parker. What'd you say, honey? Huh? Nothing. Miss Parker just don't know. She needs some young meat. Mr. Parker ain't in that right, man. Oh, she know what she doing with them low ass shorts on. She know we be looking. Oh, uh, that's enough. You, I, I can't show you guys no more. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. See, that's the type of content you're going to see, you guys, on the subscribers. But uh, it was just a little fun thing I did playing off of uh, uh, what you call off Friday. Uh, what'd you think about that? I don't know if everybody has seen the movie Friday or not. I can't assume could that everybody's seen it. Asking, could you have played Miss Parker? Do you think I could have played Miss Parker in there? Because you know, y'all know I am old. <laughs> I am an old chick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Fonz, let me catch up. The Fonz says that dude Adam Twenty Two is getting crazy backlash lately. He is. You know why though? He is because it's like. People are seeing that he is, how he's staying in the business and how he's rolling in the business and how he's basically making that bag is off the backs of minorities, off of blacks, Mexicans. And I'm not gonna say he's exploiting because exploiting is a very strong word to me. Um, and it means, it, 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 it's just a strong word to me. I wouldn't say exploiting because if, when you exploit someone, it's usually one-sided. But the people that are on No Jumper, they are participating. They're willing participants. And they are getting clout to an extent for being on there. So, yeah. But that's that's a, that's a topic for a whole nother day. We'll, we can get into that. But anyway. D staff said that was corny. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. It's just a parody. It's all parody. I'm not like trying to win an Academy Award. <laughs> uh, Fawn says, hell yeah, perfect. Uh, D-Staff says, but yes, you could play her. 
Donovan says it was cool. <laughs> Pitbull. Hey, what's going on, friend? Welcome. Just tuning in. That was cool. And Friday was one of my favorite movies, right? Oh, my God. I, I don't know. I loved Friday. Friday was cool. All of them. <laughs> Fawn 7118 he says, I heard something different about young girls. Really? Oh, my God. You have to tell me. You have to fill me in on that. I just know about the, the racial thing about it. Like, he's just, like I said, basically making his millions off the backs of minorities. That's was what I heard the main thing was. But I ain't heard nothing about no young girls. But, you know, him and his wife are porn stars. Well, I, they're, I don't know if they're still actively in the business. But, uh, and that young girls being in there, being exploited, um that is commonplace i think it still happens to be completely honest with you um because you know girls nowadays they look so much older than what they are and uh i don't know back when i was big growing up we still looked young you know what i mean and we weren't i mean we were in a hurry like all young adults and teenagers to to be grown but it ain't like it is now you know what i mean it's like Shit, these kids like in elementary school are just twerking and acting like they need to be in the club. And it's like, no, you don't. Sit your ass down and learn how to do cursive writing. How about that? <laughs> but for real, for real, for real. Um, Donovan says, yeah, they got that plug talk show. Yep. Yep. Like I said, I only tune into it because I mainly want to see uh, Sharp. I like Sharp. I'm just waiting for the day that he breaks off and does his own thing. He probably signed like a contract or something. I don't know. I'm sure he did. Um, but that dude can hold his own for sure. He's just got to find the right backing. Somebody who's going to back him by himself. Or he get big enough to where he can back himself. I think he could do it now, to be honest. But Adam got that money, though. He got the money. So I get it. I get that. I get it. Um... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, that that was just a little play on the Friday thing, um, kind of like a little TikTok thingy, or whatever. I need to I need to get back more consistent on TikTok too, because I was on there for a hot second. I had a, I actually had a video on there that went viral. Um. But it was nursing related. I do like my my TikTok is mainly like more nursing stuff, which I need to get on there, like I said, and start doing that more. And I'm I'm gonna do some do some other things on my Instagram as well and here on YouTube. Donovan says Sharp is the only one left. I know, I know, right? Yep. I'll be watching Sharp. Do you ever watch his uh his YouTube? He does a thing called uh church on Sundays. <laughs> That's just pretty funny. Pretty funny. Keeps it real though. He keeps it real for the most part. I think. I mean, you know, he could be he could be playing us too. Who knows? You know. Who knows? Who knows? Thirty-two of us in the building. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging in there with us. I really didn't plan on being here that long. Um, just wanted to go over uh, the championship game, a little bit of that, some sports and all that. But I got talked into changing pajamas and. I was hoping to get a drink by now, a cocktail, but I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> I haven't gotten it quite yet. <laughs> hey, Poo Poo Koo, thank you again. Oh my God, you are the best. He says that was a cool video, Nurse Viv. You definitely could have played Miss Parker. Oh, you know, I get that all the time. People be like, hey, Miss Parker. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> Can't wait to see the entire video. Will it be in the VIP members? Yes, absolutely. You guys get to see the whole thing first, believe it or not. So that was cool. Keep up the good work, Nurse Vid. Thank you, Puku. Shout out to you. Puku is uh, one of our inaugural um, subscription, VIP subscription uh, members. So definitely shout out to Puku uh, in that. Let's see. Is La D hey, is, is, is LaDonna in there? I don't know. Uh -uh. I don't I don't think she is, but she might be. Donna says, oh, did you see? Let me see. I forgot. I was, we were interrupted by the video. Okay, let me put it in here. Let me see. Brickzilla. All right, it better be worth it for me to look this guy up. <laughs> Brickzilla. Oh, Dread and Mandingo videos. Wow, that's the first thing that came up. Okay, let me see. 
Brigzilla porn videos. Well, let's take a look. Ooh. Oh. Okay, well shit. 13 inches? Damn. That can't be real. Is that real? Let me see. Hold on. I gotta I gotta wait so I can skip the ad. <laughs> I'm not signing. I'm not signing it. This this should be annoying sometimes. Okay, let me see. Let me fast forward. Oh shit, what'd I do? Oh dang. Hold on. All right, girl, I'm trying to see your face. Get out of here. Or your stuff. Let me see. Whoa. Whoa. Damn! Okay. That is a lethal weapon. Y'all look up Brickzilla. <laughs> you look it up. <laughs> wow. Wow! See, I'm not trying to get my insides rearranged like that. I mean, I like the I like the feeling of being filled up, but not toe up. I mean, <laughs> but uh, I will. I'll come back to that. <laughs> let me favorite. Let me put that in my favorites real quick. Hold on. Let me let me bookmark it real quick. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Shit, they should have just called him Dickzilla. That's what they should have called him. Not Brickzilla. They just called him straight up Dickzilla. That is a big ass dick. God damn. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Good looking out though. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, you know what? We was looking at, um, me and Derek were looking at uh we're looking at something, I forget, and you know who came across the screen was y'all remember Lisa Ann? She's like uh the white lady that she's always had like really she had like big boobs too. And I don't know, did she have a big ass? I don't remember she had a big ass, but she was she she was she starred with quite a few um uh black dudes. But I was like, damn, I ain't seen her in a long time. But the last time I had heard about her <clears throat> pardon me was uh she's really into sports too and she was doing like a podcast or something like that or maybe she was actually on the radio maybe i think she was doing like commentating but or like on a sports talk radio show or something like that but i was like okay i see you girl <laughs> he said legend for real that's big facts big facts <laughs> yeah she does sports stuff which i thought was cool because i like it too i mean you know i'm I'm like, uh, I mean, there's, I don't know. I feel like women now are getting more and more into sports. Um, I've always been a sports buff because I, high school, I play, I've three sports, three sports all year round, like since shit, like eighth grade, no, ninth grade, since ninth grade, I was always in three sports all year round. Just, you know, homies with the football team, anybody that's on the baseball team, you know, all the athletes, everybody kind of just hung out together like that. And I've just always really loved sports. So I thought that was very cool. And I think, she, you know, I'm about to look her up too. I'm about to look her up and see what she does specifically, but I'm sure she's in the podcast world now. Like everybody has a damn podcast. So, but yeah, I thought that was very cool. Derek put in the little pillow talk. You guys like to see that little pillow talk? That was created just for my pillow talk. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, she was, um, she used to, I remember like, um, didn't she used to do stuff with Mandingo? I think she did stuff with Mandingo before. But she was kind of like the Miss Parker of porn, right? Wasn't she like the Miss Parker of porn? <laughs> She had the great, she had the great body for being the older chick, whatever, or something like that. So, 
I, I really shouldn't be knowing who these people are, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> oh, man, I'm sitting up here all greasy. I am too old to be having greasy face, and I still get acne, too. It's like, I thought this shit was supposed to end once you became an adult. <laughs> It is clearly not, clearly not. Like even in my early fifties, I still get a cycle. It's like, really? When is this gonna end? When? But I guess I should be happy. You know what I mean? I should still be happy that I'm still in the game. <laughs> not really, but you know what I mean. Oh God. Who was the, uh, oh, remember, um, remember the one chick, uh, I think her name was Pinky. There was Pinky, she, she got real fat. She got like super duper fat because she was super short, but like in the, at the height of her game, she was like at the biggest ass. And then there was a, oh, now I'm gonna go really, really far back, really far back. But do you remember the one chick, I don't know if she was just Mexican, was her name Vanessa Del Rio or something like that? She had like the big, is that, was her name Vanessa Del Rio? Okay, I got it right. And she had those big ass dick sucking lips. I think she was Mexican. I don't know. Maybe she was Colombian or something like that. Uh, and Cherokee too. Yeah, Cherokee. Is Cherokee still in the game? I don't even know. But she had, yeah, Cherokee had big old ass. Uh, yeah, Del Rio, yep. Dang, I'm showing my age with that one for real. But look her up, man. She's like a legend. No, don't do, don't show porn. No, it's not porn. It's not porn. It's Google. <laughs> All right, Derek's gonna show a picture of Vanessa Del Rio from back in the day. Hopefully, it's not gonna be her sucking on a dick, but. I mean, I wouldn't mind watching it, but just for the for the purposes of what we're doing, we're not gonna do that. We don't want to get any, you know, strikes or anything like that. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Vanessa Del Rio. Yeah. Let me see. I think so. Yeah. Oh, is this what she looks like now? Ooh, I hope that's not her on the bottom left. She looked terrible if that's it. But yeah, you see her in the red right there? Yeah, that's her. Oh, they're showing what she looks like. Oh yeah, that's her in her younger years. Oh, she had big titties, huh? She had some big titties. Or did she? I don't know. Hey, look who's in the building, Jose El Confita, the people's moderator. Yay, good to see you, Jose. Just in time, talking about porn stars. <laughs> 80s porn to be exact. Who else was hot back then? Um, like in the early 90s, back in the day. I'm trying to think. Who else? Well, of course, Ron Jeremy. He was. He's been around like forever, forever, forever. Um, isn't something going on with him? Is he sick or something like that or something? I don't remember. Now he didn't go to jail, but something was going on with him. I remember. But I'm just trying to think. Um, women wise. Who else? She, yeah, Jose said, I still have the old VHS game. Stop, you need to stop it. But shit, that's how, that's what, if you remember like back in the day, you know what's weird is like my local sex shop, you know, or adult book, adult store, it's not even an adult book store, it's the book store. It's like a superstore. It's like a Walmart, literally. They sell lingerie, they sell, books, they sell oils, they sell toys, they sell everything you can think of. But it's really clean, very neat. Salespersons are there to help you out. 
demonstrate toys, not like on you or with them or anything, but you know what I'm saying. But uh, it's weird because they have this one like little bargain bin thing and it's full of old like DVDs. Well, I can't even say they're old, but they're DVDs. I do not even have a DVD player anymore, but I guess there are a lot of people who do. And uh, yeah, people be watching that shit on DVD. And it's like, I don't see how or why though, because you can just look at the shit on for free on your phone or, well, maybe they put it like on a screen or something. You know, I don't know. I can't double, I can't second guess people. That's not fair. I mean, shit, if you still have a DVD player or a Blu-ray, <laughs> I never knew what was Blu-ray. Was it just a clearer version of, uh, of DVD? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I used to stick the DVDs in my laptop or my computer. And that's what I would see. Um, but I never, I think, no maybe, no, maybe I did have an external one that I put like on a TV screen. I don't remember. Anyways. See if they heard a long dong silver. Long dong silver. Derek wants to know. Okay, let me see. Derek sent me a picture of long dong. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't think that's real. This is ridiculous. This this guy, Long Dong Silver, his dong is like as long as his thigh. That I don't think that that doesn't even it doesn't even look real like where it's attached. It literally looks like a sausage. <laughs> it looks like a hot link. Like there's barely any head. And it's just like all sausage. <laughs> Oh my God, that is crazy. That's like, that's like an anomaly for real. If it is real, I, I can't, I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Lacey Duval and Jada Fire, ooh. You still want, you still, yeah, I Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, no, no. It's a, if you look to the right, there I got the banana and fudge bomb pops. Well, what are these? I don't know. You bought them, didn't you? They, no, but I have. I bought bomb pops. No, I didn't buy those popsicles. Ooh, I hope y'all didn't see that. Oh, that's great. Let me see. Uh, what did he say? Let me see. Oh, it was on the screen, my bad. What are you talking about? This is the box this came out of. Oh, really? Okay, maybe they're shaped differently now. That's weird. Yeah, they'd be in Oh, man. I, th I was expecting you guys, my bomb pop, to be like all big and thick. Speaking of big and thick. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my God, I feel cheated, you guys. Remember the bomb pops back in the day? Like the red, white, and blue ones. And then you had the banana and the fudge. They were thick, right? They were thick. Look at this shit. Look at this. What is this? You know what? I'm going to write the company. This is like, this is an abomination of my childhood. This is not the way it used to be, y'all. Mm. Mm. Oh, it still tastes good though. Mm. Mm. Tony Duncan. Tony Duncan is like from back in the day. Mm. Y'all, I'm going to get the, um, the regular bomb pot. Huh? Donovan White. Tony Duncan, does, Derek said that he um, he does trannies now. Hmm. You guys. Okay, I am mad that it is like smaller, but this shit is so good. Oh my God, it still tastes so good. 
the banana with the fudge. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Paul said budget cuts, right? Well, John would say, yeah, old porn. Mm. I'm going to get the regular bone pops too. They're probably going to be small like this too. I'm, that's so, this is so disappointing, but it's still hella good. Mm. The banana ice cream. I don't know. I like banana ice cream. Mm. So good. Yeah, that's what he said. Do you know who, um, you know who I saw, which I can't confirm this, but y'all know who Flash Brown is, right? He's more like modern day. I think he's doing, I think he's bisexual. Because I could have sworn I saw him on Twitter one night, like showing his ass and stuff. And he had all the gays like on fire, bro, like on fire, commenting and stuff. They were like, oh, yes, yes, and all this stuff. And he was commenting back. And I was like, is this, the, is this like right? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Swoop Man's in the building. Swoop Man 1972. Hey, hey, what's up, Viv and Derek? What's up, my friend? D Derek said bisexual for pain, maybe. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. This is so good. And I'm glad that they didn't mess with the taste. The taste is still the same. It's just they mess with the size. Mm. Delicious. Hey, Jose's messing with the, the icons. And again, if you would be so kind as to subscribe, you too will have access to those icons. And that immediately lets me know that you are a VIP and a subscriber. I'm going to shout you out continuously, just like Puku. Puku is one of our inaugural VIPs. Peter Patter is in the building. He says, keep sucking, my love. Oh, believe me, I am. This shit is good as hell. You see how much I've already, look at that. I killed this one. So good. Swoop Man says, hey, hey. Sorry, I missed you guys in Vegas. We were there the first week in March. Oh, really? Well, I hope you guys had a great an um, amazing time and hopefully we'll catch you guys for the next one we had a great time you guys will we'll do it again we have to do it again because that shit was so fun i loved meeting more people it was awesome who is cuckoo i don't know who is cuckoo Swoopman says the weather was bad, but we will definitely link up for sure. Absolutely. I know it's been so, it's been like unseasonably cold, huh? Mmm. Mmm. That's that. Gone. I could eat like two more of those. <laughs> that is horrible. But I'm telling you, I'm the person that you will pull up in next to at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I will have my hands elbow deep in some Doritos, <laughs> some spicy nacho Doritos with a quesadilla. <laughs> I don't care what time it is. I eat whatever it is because I'm, you know, my hours are so backwards. There you go. Jose's got it. Hey, Sarah is in the building too, you guys. That is our lovely hostess with the mostest. 
that takes you um, all around on the walking tours. She went to the container park where I meant to say that DJ was amazing. I popped in real quick in the beginning. I was like half asleep, but then I watched it again. And he was the one with the guitar and stuff like that too. He was amazing. That dude was on point. I loved it. Love, love, loved it, Sarah. That was so awesome. But anyway, y'all, say hello to Sarah. She, Like I said, she is a hostess with the mostest. And of course, we all know and love the uh, people's moderator, Jose El Compita, who humps that like. Hey. <laughs> Hump that like for Jose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh oh so if you want to be uh get that membership they just put the link in there for you so like i said if you got a couple extra coins coins rattling around in your pocket and uh you would mind becoming a uh, vip where you get to see that stuff all of our stuff a little bit earlier and you get sneak peeks on stuff and you can join our inaugural person mr puku uh Click that link. Click that link. Check it out. Check it out. Sweetman said it rained and it was windy, but at least here in my part of Texas, we didn't get those horrible tornadoes. Ooh, yeah. Good. Because let me tell you something. Today, I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it came. I don't think it came from Texas. <laughs> I think it came from the Pacific. What's that noise? Derek? Oh, he must have went to the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, um, today it was so windy. Oh, my God. I took my car through the car wash, and e even it was just like whipping through the car wash and stuff. It was just like, oh, my God. It was so windy. I don't know if anybody in California, if you guys had went high winds or whatever, but that shit blew right over here to Arizona. Man, it was crazy. Sarah says, yes, yeah, Shigatone was on point. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that a lot. I really liked it. Um, again, like I said, uh, Sarah and Jose, I put that link in there for the membership. You know, I know how it is. We all work hard for our money. But if you got a few extra coins rolling around, a few extra pennies, no obligation. But uh, if you join, you know, that doesn't mean you have to stay a member forever. But check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It was windy in Cali. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Then it had to be something from over that way. Because usually whatever y'all get, it takes a couple days and then we end up getting it. So. Yep. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Peter Patter says, I'm new here, love. You got a fan for life. What's your content? And send me the link. Um, you know what? Here on Urban AZ, we just, like I said, um, we do a lot of Vegas content, but um, on Pillow Talk, which is my little special segment that we usually do after hours, we just talk about, excuse me, everything and nothing at the same damn time, okay? Like, for real. We'll talk, we'll start out talking about sports. We'll talk about current events. We'll talk about sex. We get into all of it. <laughs> Either way, I appreciate you being here. And uh, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. We'd love to see you regularly as part of the family. Uh, Swoop Band says, we've been fighting wildfires. Winds have been up to 60 minutes. Wow. It's been like that for the last three weeks. I have no idea. Well, be careful, my friend. Be careful. We appreciate all the work that firefighters do. Anybody that's a frontliner, man. Uh, Sarah says the wind was crazy over here too. Springtime in Vegas, always windy, right? That's true. It was unusual for us, but because here in Phoenix, we just used to that hot breeze, but uh, it was windy as well, AF. I'll say that. It was windy AF for sure. And it was just wreaking havoc. And my, my lash extensions were all over the place. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, is Sarah in here? I have to. Hey, Sarah. Can you guys hear me, Viv? Can you hear me? Yeah. In the stream? Uh, I didn't want to walk over there. Um, Sarah, it says video. I was 
want to show you. I'm going to find it. And uh, I was asking you about it maybe a month ago. What the hell? Anyway, I'm going to find it and I'll show it to you. You are welcome, swoop man. Absolutely. Oh, something in my teeth. Okay. Hmm? Mm, I'm just reading. You said you were going to find a video or something. Yeah, but it's not Oh, okay, my bad. Okay. Huh? Okay. So anyway, what else has been up, you guys? Oh, you know what? Let me... Did you guys hear about... Oh, uh, one of our... Um, well... Another uh, vlogger that I follow on here, uh, his name is The High Value Nurse. Uh, CJ was talking about this on his channel. There was a nurse in Mexico, y'all, who she deleted herself because she attempted to do liposuction on herself. Yes, I am not making this up. This woman worked at a li like a clinic, you know, like a plastic surgery clinic and somehow she thought got the bright idea well I've probably seen a million of these I think I can do this to myself so apparently um, she didn't die I guess from or she didn't delete herself from the actual like liposuction but had something to do with the anesthesia now here's the thing can you imagine okay we've you know how it feels well I'm not gonna say everybody does but how you feel have you ever felt now there's been a lot of us and again there's no judgment here and it's not something that I'm advocating at all that anybody does but if you've ever driven yourself home slightly even tipsy you know what a weird and only by the grace of God that you get yourself home feeling that that is. Now, can you imagine giving yourself anesthesia? Okay. And I don't know if you've ever had anesthesia before, but like if you come off of anesthesia, how loopy and weird you are, let alone when you're in the middle of anesthesia, trying to do a precise procedure such as liposuction, like, because you can't just get in there and just go willy-nilly. You have to stay a certain amount of inches when you're, you know, doing the thing with the cannula. Because if you poke too hard or you get into an artery or something like that, it slides out, bro. Like, you got to be precise about it. But she gave herself anesthesia and proceeded to try to give herself liposuction. And then she deleted herself. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, I read that and I was like, that's got to be, this can't be true, but it was true. What in the heck? I mean, I hate to speak, speak ill of the dead, but it's like, there is no way on earth in hell that she should have thought that that was okay. I don't care how many times you saw that procedure done. A, you do not have a license as a doctor. <laughs> Number one, you have a nursing license. That's it. There is no nurse that is qualified or is able, unless you're like a nurse practitioner maybe when you're on that level, to perform liposuction. What the fuck? 
I'm just like, mm -mm. I, I, I don't know. Uh, let me see here. Swoop Man says, I felt like that driving home from many trips. Facts. Exactly. I have been exhausted, exhausted. It's driving sleepy to me is just as bad as driving drunk. When you're exhausted and you're sleepy and you get that little micro, that micro nod and it just scares you. You're just like, oh shit. You know, and you, it scares you to wake you up. But then here you go again. You're like, oh. and it kind of feels like you were asleep for a long time. Oh, that's like the worst feeling ever. I hate driving like that. Oh my God. Full, straight up, straight up. Okay, Derek. All right, Derek. So, Let's see what he's talking I've been about. invited to join the stream from Nurse Viv. I had an, I got an invitation. So before y'all start crying and moaning and bitching, Viv invited me. Anyway, Sarah. So I was trying to find this video for you a couple of months back. But anyway, I want to know what you guys thought about this before I put it on here. I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like that. I always see this person live on TikTok and he usually has either a caretaker or his mom with him. But I was wondering if he's just acting or is he kind of mental but you'll see but i'm not trying to be funny or nothing right now but i always he's like very popular on tiktok like popular popular um so i'm going to oh where'd it go hold tight i gotta get to the right all right there it is so this guy's popular on tiktok viv maybe you can answer this I don't know, but I just, I don't, I don't, the gimbal's not holding me. Is this guy acting like he's mental for the views, or is he really, like, you guys think something's wrong with him? Oh, I don't know what I did for the gimbal, guys. Oh. Man. All right, I'll be in there. Hold tight. He looks like he has cerebral palsy. I'm coming in there to fix your damn gimbal. Can't, can't do nothing without me. Shit. What? Yeah, I just, I'm just trying, trying to turn it down. down. That's, uh, You're trying to turn it down. down. No, I thought because there was too much, too much echoing. echoing. I can hear. You probably heard my voice. Well, I can't even hear it. Great. 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 Oh. Oh. Well, I didn't know. Know. Okay, well now you know. Anyway, anyway messing up my presentation. Sorry. Right. Right. Okay. okay. I'm really done. I got to do like Well, he has he has, he has, he has three 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 is he having fun, fun doing it, or is he just, just, just using and exposing him exposing for TikTok dollars? Like, like she's she putting him on live to have fun, like he's actually having, having fun, 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 or is or he just, just exploiting him? Um, I think he probably does enjoy it. Probably the wire that he probably wasn't doing the sit situation or something. Well, do you think that's just like that? No, I think he probably does enjoy it. But, but clearly, clearly talking here to the profit because how many followers do they have? Like millions. He's got um fuck, hold on. Let me uh let me get back in here. Yeah, see yeah, there's, see, there's an, an echo, echo on my end because like I said, I don't know how to turn this turn turn the bus. Oh my turn, god, turn. I gotta do everything. Shit. What the hell? Wait, what? Do you need to do stress no, but it's like, like, you don't you've been doing this the whole time, time but now I it's don't just try. Maybe it's because of my shit. Maybe. Well, maybe it's in the stream. How about that? I'm just saying. Jesus. That's a little good. So, that's what I'm that little echo right there. On my side. Well, Sarah. 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 S
Yeah, there's something he does. It looks like he has broken through the walls. Or is he thinking? Fuck, fuck. Maybe he's back like that. Because Jose looks like he had cerebral palsy when he was drunk. No, if you actually look at Jose, he's still trying to walk. He looks like he was more than more than drunk. I don't know what it's that far gone. Anyway, anyway. Talk to you about it here anyway. Anyway, two or two. I can mute them. Let's see how you can do this. Sir, sir, you know we'll be here. He didn't work. 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 But anyway, I was curious what you guys thought of it. Do with Dude, this acting, acting for the money, money. or uh, uh, this? I think I can probably have fun with it because, like I said, prior, prior to that, that, you probably want to be watching Chim Tuck and do those things and kind of just sit in high back of the chair watching and wishing she now can do it. And so he's so doing the best he can, can, but he blew up, up so, so now they talk about it. I don't know, you gotta watch it, kinda. Just watch it. So you think he's actually having fun? That's my question. Like, I gotta find one. He does a live stream. He's got like... And is his mom or caretaker behind him the whole time? And she's laughing and kind of, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of, uh, trying to remove this. Yeah, it's just kind of, um. I can see how it's a little disturbing. It's got a dress on and it's clearly a boy. But in the same token, like I said, I feel like, you know, prior to that, he probably was in his high back wheelchair. He was washing, he probably was looking at it. Yeah, he's got like close to 300,000 followers. He's not a yeah, million, yeah. he doesn't have a million, but. I mean, he's making money, 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 But they, he dress, they dress him up in women's clothes. Just, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. he ain't That's doing that himself, know. right? What I'm saying is somebody's dressing him up like that to, to be... Yeah, yeah. To be an entertainer or whatever, to use him for whatever they're using him for, right? Yeah. yeah. And you saying he has cerebral palsy? I, that's what it looks like to me. Because everybody, the comments, they're all just joking on him the whole time. Oh, really? Yeah, because some people think it's fake, and some people think like, okay, why is somebody letting him do this? But then he, like you said, he might be enjoying it. Yeah. But then I, it might be fake. It might. He might be doing it fooling everybody to feel sorry for him or something, you know what I mean? He could be. I mean, sure, nowadays, you just never know. No. But anyway, I'm going to find that video, Jose, back to whatever you was doing. Since Sarah wants to, uh, Hmm. I mean, you know, who knows? It could be. It could be he could be fooling us. Who freaking knows? Nowadays, everything's like a gimmick. So, but um, I don't know. I feel like he probably is having a good time. Let's back a little bit. Because I'm just trying to think. And prior to that, what was he doing? Which is probably nothing, you know. His um, parents are behind him. If you see that, like, maybe he, maybe they're just letting him have fun, I guess. Kind of reminds me of Jose. Okay, so. 
Y'all see no. the parents or whatever they are. I don't know. It's their Taiwan. Kind of strange. It's Taiwan. So what's that mean? Because they're from Taiwan? What's that mean? No, I'm just no, saying they're Thai. You were like, well, whatever they are. Yeah, it looks like the parents. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I mean it doesn't look like he's faking it, but shit, I don't know, man. Donovan says it's a cash grab. Yeah, because you know, in their country, what they're making, um, that money that they're making off of TikTok is probably making them like millionaires. I don't know. Um, Nacho says, to me, it looks like uh, he's suffering from neuro neurogenic muscle atrophy. It's further evident with his movement. It appears to affect his neuromuscular function. Yeah. I think I, it looks like to me as CP. Well, he might have some mental, too. You never know. I mean, you never know. You just, you never know what they, what people have. And plus, he's in a, a different country, so who knows? I don't know, but hopefully he's not a, is, the, is that lady that was in there, is she, um, is she, uh, oops, I need to charge. Is she the one that's in the other videos, too? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're making money. And for them, that's all. What they're making off of TikTok is like a lot, like a lot, lot. So there's a lot of scammers. You true? You're right about that. Peter Patter says a man on TikTok said his wife got hit by a truck and died. <clears throat> he started asking for money. Come to find out she was like, wow. See? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I mean, shit. It's, it's hard to say. It is very hard to say. It's hard to say. That's why you got to just hope that they're telling the truth. Because I remember I seen, um, this was probably like a year ago, some chick, it was this, um, this is some chick and she was, she was feigning homelessness and how she lost her job and all kind of stuff. And God, I can't remember the story exactly. But anyway, this chick ended up being a scammer. Like... It was like this big controversy and she ended up having to, I want to say she had to refund some of the money from the GoFundMe or some, something crazy. But then she tried to go back on TikTok and defend her stance, you know, and say, no, I wasn't. it was really true. I mean, I didn't do this at this time. However, it happened, blah, 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 you know, just walking everything back basically. So who knows? Nacho says individuals who suffer from any form of muscle atrophy tend to also suffer from mental issues as well, whether it's depression or anxiety. I, I can see that. Definitely. No. But yeah, I mean, shit. Hopefully, any money that they get is going to go to help him live a better life. That's all you can hope. Once the money comes out of your hands, that's all you can hope is that, hey, it's out of my hands now. Hopefully that the person, whoever's getting it, is making sure that he lives a comfortable life and is, gets to do the things he wants to do, you know? Yeah, I have a, another to show. Okay, so Derek is going to show everyone uh, another really brief clip. Um, of some stuff that we've been working on. So if you would kindly, oh, you may have seen this, but, um, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Sarah, where were, Derek wants to know, where were you at when all this was happening? Come out, I'm gone, y'all. 
That night was epic. Well, I was at the Circa, remember? You was where? I was waiting at the Circa. You were making your way down. Who was I with, though? Who was, who was you were by home? yourself. Sarah and Jose wasn't there? You were by yourself because, remember, you were like, somebody hold my gimbal. Oh, that was a fight before. <laughs> That's from Fremont. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Maggie was like, no, do not give up the gimbal. Don't. Summertime on Fremont is like, whoo, that's when some shit be cracking off all the time. Just wait, y'all. When the temperature goes up, you're going to start seeing it all. Okay. As you can see, I went back to the cookies. So freaking good. Mm. Yeah, Swoopman. Yeah, Swoopman. That's the same night. And wasn't our stream like like long? The stream ended up being like like ten hours or some shit. It was crazy. That was a girl got mad at me for looking at her booty. And she had on fucking booty shorts. Yeah. But if I wasn't supposed to look. That whole night was crazy. It was fun though. Man, it was fun. I'm telling you, Fremont in the summertime. <laughs> that shit jumps off, bro. Like off. And of course this summer we're gonna bring it to you again. You already know. <laughs> hey, Pitter Patter. Thank you so much. Pitter Patter, the newest member, you um, VIP member. Thank you so much for signing up. You are now part of the exclusive VIP family, and we love you for that. Thank you. You'll get to see that whole fight. <laughs> it's long. <laughs> not up there yet. It's not there yet, but you'll get to see it. It's crazy. <laughs> yep. Vegas in the summertime is a trip, y'all. But it's so fun. Oh my God. That's when we, we probably end up going more in the summertime, even though it's hot as hell. But, you know, we're kind of used to it because our climates are very similar. But, uh, yeah, man. That's when the, the shorts get shorter, the tops get topper. <laughs> They get the tops get less topper. <laughs> the alcohol flows more flowier. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Pitter Patter. We are happy to have you as part of the game. For sure. Yep. It's just something about it. Something about Vegas in the summertime. The beers, man, I don't know. The beers start getting to you faster. <laughs> I'm not a beer drinker per se. Every once in a while, I'll have a beer, but not very often. Do you want to come in here? You're boring right now. Okay, to you. Derek is, is speaking for all of you guys. So, really? Anyway, I got the kangaroo court in the next room. <laughs> Anyway, what uh, what were we talking about before we got on that? Before we were uh, interrupted, anyways. Forgot. Let me go back up. Hopefully, I didn't miss anybody's uh, comments. Pop. 
Paul, Paul says, Nacho, I worked security years ago and it definitely changed with the wide availability of cell phone cameras. Yeah, man. Something about catching your stuff on and somebody yelling world star in the back. <laughs> oh my God. Donovan said fighting in all white is crazy, right? I know. And the thing about it is like, no, nah, I can't give it away. You have to, you have to watch the rest of it. Okay, Derek wants to show you guys a little bit more now. Because, yeah, it was a long fight. That was the thing that was crazy, too. Is like, you know how, like, most fights get started and then somebody's going to jump in and break them up, break it up? No, not this one. People was in it to, for, for 10 minutes. I would hold my camera, I would really break this up. Police gotta come over here. Where's security at? He's still trying to get some more. Damn, dude, you got your ass whooped. Look, look, going back. Yeah, it started way back in the back over by the heart attack grill. Somehow came across the street, a damn car. Didn't he get rolled on? He damn near got rolled on, but still stayed crispy white. That's the part that I didn't get. He said he eat those, right? I know. That's what I'm saying. Bro, bro caught super fades, super fades. Still got up. Uh, his chin was made of steel and still was trying to get some more. <laughs> yeah, he had to be on something for real. Sweetman said, I worked a motor vehicle accident with fatalities and people were recorded. Oh, yeah, you, I, all the time. You already know. <laughs> I know, man. But yeah, he somehow he kept his crispy whites pretty much white. I didn't see any blood like on his jacket, only his face. That was it. Oh, man. Nacho says, Paul Martinez, yeah, as we've taken a step towards in technological advance, we as a species take a leap backwards. I know. I know. I'm so glad when I was coming up, when I was a lot younger, there were no cell phones. Can you believe it? I'm really dating myself with that, so you can get to see none of, none of my era's foolishness. <laughs> Ooh, that wind. Oh, wow. I can hear it whipping out there. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, that was, though. That was crazy. And, yeah, it was so weird. No security. No police. Nothing. It was like it just went on. It just went on until it didn't anymore. It was crazy. Super duper crazy. Anyway, I want to say shout out to everybody that's still with us. Looks like we've got, what, 29 of us in here? Oh, no, I'm sorry, 31 of us in here. Just chilling. Again, we talk about everything and nothing at the same damn time. Uh, we just did a little flashback on that uh, epic Urban AZ captured fight and i'm telling you that stream probably went on for like 10 hours maybe more to be honest yeah that was crazy you know what this is usually the time when i eat like my dinner at work it's more like a snack usually so now it's like i'm hungry i'm like eyeing stuff because i've got like these crackers over here i'm gonna get these crackers out I did a shopping trip to 
Trader Joe's earlier. So I got all like these little snacks and stuff. These are like little pita, pita bite crackers. Mm. So good. I have some dip and stuff too in my fridge, but I'll get that later. Huh? I don't know. Huh? Nice. You just reached 5,700 uh, subscribers on the channel, you guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate every single one of you guys to subscribe. I mean, it's absolutely free. It helps the channel, helps us bring you guys quality content. Even when we're talking about everything and nothing at the same time, these pillow talks, you know. Nacho says, have you tried the Harmless Harvest coconut water? These are my new favorite drink. I only wish they were cheaper. No, I haven't. They're called Harmless Harvest. I like coconut water. A lot of people don't. I know it's kind of an acquired taste, but I like the um, Coco Vita, the mango coconut. Oh, so good. But same. I wish the stuff wasn't as expensive as it is. But good looking out. I'm going to try it. Is anybody else eating? <laughs> is, or is it just me? <laughs> Paul says he's going to try it too. Did anybody... Um, check out Dan and Yoli this past weekend um, on live. Did you guys see their suite? They had a player ass suite over at the um, Caesars Palace. Oh my like, damn. They're doing it big. I'm going to do some more um, suite reviews for you guys too. Actually I have some still. I think I have a couple that are still just need to be produced. And I'll pick those up. Swoop Van says, I'm on shift, so we're eating all the time, right? I'm always trying to grab something. I'm not always successful until about now, but. but this has been cool, you guys. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of talk, come on and talk about the um, the championship game and the women's, you know, and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but we kind of morphed into all kind of other stuff. All right, what is this that Derek's putting on? Who? Oh, this is Jose. <laughs> Let me grab my dick, you guys. Hold on.
such a crazy time. What's funny is that that was Jose's first time in Vegas. <laughs> Went entirely too hard. <laughs> he need coconut water, exactly. He need some milk and some coconut water. <laughs> no, he um, he's been back several times, but now he knows. Now he knows how to. Now he knows how to do how to do Vegas right. <laughs> Jose was a Las Vegas virgin. Popped his cherry and ends up in the <laughs> in the back of an ambulance. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't funny at the time, but now. I mean, he'll he'll laugh at he'll laugh with you at, about it, but yeah, he went entirely too hard. <laughs> and you can't tell people to like chill, especially you know it's the first time. Everybody wants to get fucked up, man. One thousand cc. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I said. I was like, once he gets to the hospital, they're not going to do anything but just give him a bag. <laughs> and he's gonna feel great. <laughs> He'll feel great. And then send him home. And that's exactly what he did. They they did. <laughs> they gave him a bag and let him sober up in the bay. And then he had to go home or back to the hotel. <laughs> Just to say, he was having a ball, though. Leading up to that point, he was having the time of his life. Oh, my God. Absolute time of his life. <laughs> and, oh, this was a funny thing, too. Is like, Lindsay was pretty faded, too. Lindsay was pretty faded. But her ass sobered up quick. I mean, quick. <laughs> Once he started getting all loopy like that, she was like, oh, nope, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, the ER is never free, unfortunately. Mm. HB, I don't know. It's different in every state, so I don't know. Uh, Paul Martinez, there were several times I had alcohol poisoning. It's not fun. No, absolutely not. Nacho said, that's the first time I've seen the video. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is? Oh, it's on Urban AZ. 
I didn't know that. But. Oh, yeah, I did. No, I knew that. I knew that. But, uh, we got permission from Jose to, to show the video and have it posted up, so. Before anybody comes after us. But yeah. Vegas is Vegas. It's so crazy because, like, <laughs> people walking by were just, like, so nonchalant. You're just so used to seeing. So used to seeing people faded like that, you know. Wow, really? Huh? Yeah. The ambulance. The ambulance ride is the worst. I mean, if you're. I know, but if you're if you you're to the point where no, but if you're to the point where you cannot make that medical decision and it's and it's affecting your life, they have to take you. They have to take you. So what happens? You can't afford it. Let's just say it's something crazy. And, and you can you can work it out with um, a building department. Like that. Yeah, right. No, that happens. Like people in car accidents, they they're not able to give consent. They're the doctor's going to save your life if because you're in jeopardy, right? right? They have to do it. But if it becomes something like that, I mean, you have to work it out with the billing department and say, hey, look, I don't have insurance, or I can't pay this, I only make 12000 a year, or, you know, you work something out with the, with the hospital. Because all hospitals have a department. So I wonder if, I'm if Jose knows that. How does that work? You just, they put it, you in debt now? Like it goes mm -hmm. against your credit issue? Yeah, medical debt, yeah. That's one of the most popular forms of debt in America. Is medical debt because the shit's so expensive and many Americans don't have um, insurance. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> we do pay homage, don't we, huh? That was an epic night. It was fun, though. I feel it was fun. Um... Paul, that's true. However, the Ubers now, I don't know about Lyft, but Ubers now have um, left the discretion up to the driver because we tried to take an Uber to get him back to the hotel at, and Uber driver wouldn't take him. He, they said he was too drunk. Nacho said, depending on the severity of it, they even proceed with dialysis to filter the alcohol. Yeah, his wasn't that bad. I mean, he looked bad, but he didn't have to get to that point. Exactly, Swoop Man. That's what I was explaining to Derek. It's like, if you're in a life or death situation, you know, the doctors take the oath to do no harm, so they have to try to save you. And same with us. We have to try. Huh? Yeah. I hate this. It's the worst. My back hurts. Well, it was supposed to be that bad. I know, but. No, it sure would. I tried, too. We tried, huh? We tried our best to get that that uh, Uber driver to take us, but he was like, I take you guys, but I'm not taking him. <laughs> exactly, Paul. I feel you. I feel I felt him. I mean, I was just we were just trying to avoid the ambulance thing, but in the end it was better anyway.
because like the way he explained it to us was like, if I happen to get pulled over for just whatever, and they have, they see I've got somebody completely drunk, he's like, then we all get in trouble. So, oh, I get it. And like HB said, who wants puke? And he sure was puking. Woo. He let it go, let it go. <laughs> he sure did. He was letting loose. I'm so glad those days are over for me. In terms of I don't drink like, like that anymore. I mean, that was a special occasion. I've never seen Jose drink like that since, so. Don't get me wrong. He still like his drinks. But not to the point where you just don't know what's going on. Because when you're in Vegas, you just kind of underestimate where you're at, you know what I mean? And plus he had just met everybody, everybody was putting a face to a name and vice versa. And then the next thing you know, he went from humping the door to humping that bench and throwing up all over it. <laughs> Jose, Jose knows we love him. He's an integral part of the music. Hey, uh, Sarah, you, that was his Sarah still in here? Sarah H? <laughs> yes, Nurse yes. Viv, is Sarah H still in here? I oh, want yeah, to oh, yeah. I want to see if she remembers this this lovely dinner we had for Taco Tuesdays. Oh, Derek is going down memory lane. Hold on. I'm like all up now and shit. Hey, Sarah, hold on. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Sarah, you remember this lovely dinner we had? Hey, Alex. What do you guys think of that? Uh, what is this place called? Diablos. Man, show the plate again. Jesus. Hold on, I gotta go back and get the plate again. Sometimes it doesn't have the thing to write. Chips are kind of stale. Stale. Drink was okay, but yeah, I'm gonna give him a C minus on this. On today. Uh, just thinking about that shit. For sure. That was a. Uh, That was like the worst. Talk, big head, Viv. Mm -hmm. Talk, I'm just going through videos. I was too busy looking at like Zilla. Yeah. Uh, no, you know, I don't know what happened, what it was with you guys. Because um, when we, when I went to Diablo, it was good. It was really good. It was good. Don't know, don't know what happened, what happened for y'all. Maybe did you guys go too late? Late? I don't think so. They don't care. They're gonna give you whatever. Hello, Alex. Hello, Alex. Are we like, like, so, yeah, that could have been you guys went too late because remember Derek the first time you and I went? Nah, we didn't go too late. I don't think so, Sarah. Nah, because we were still able to go eat somewhere else. Yeah, yeah.
Okay. I'm echoing. Yeah, I see Sarah too. She's been there a couple times. Yeah, eight o'clock is that's nothing in Vegas. That is nothing at all, so I don't know. Y'all just caught the, the unlucky hand. I don't know. 33 of us in here. Hello, everybody. We are pillow talking it. Paul Martinez says, Sarah H., is that the only Diablos Cantinas or is there other locations? Good question. What you know about it, Sarah? Don't know myself, so. Okay. This point right here, this is when Jose, now if you look at the look on his face right now, right now he's like, okay, uh, I think I'm good, but I'm not really. Um, I can't even see straight at this point. I'm not sure if that's what's to the next to me. This gum tastes like paper. Um, I really want to lay down, but I'm going to fake it, fake the phone. If somebody offers me another drink, I'm going to try and go along. I can't even put my shirt on barely. I don't care if you see any of my hair or my arms. I don't care. Mustache comes the window. Bars sticking out. He's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm not really. Just making sure I'm still there. Now it's like, oh shit. Should I confess and just tell him I'm fading and I'm relief? Now right here, he's using the chair back to support himself. He really can't stand up. He's leaning against the chair, my chair back. You know what? Mine might be delayed, Derek. We're going to try to give him another shot. Okay. Redog, you need to babysit if you give it up another speaker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, he's feeling it right there. Oh, 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 oh. Get up. Get up, dog. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Uh, He's gonna call you a Uber later, but he <laughs> water, you know. Ducky's back in my day, I would even sit right here. Lindsay's trying to offer support. Yeah, yeah, she don't give a fuck. <laughs> Dad don't give a goddamn. Oh, it's my phone. I know, Stash. Trying his hardest, though. What are we doing? I'm not babysitting. Y'all got him drunk like this. I'm not doing it. It was even, it was a drunk. No, I don't know. He does, huh? Like those losers. Okay. 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 Uh, a session, a love, a love session right here. Okay, we both faded. Battery life on the phone. Derek's like, I can't deal with this. <laughs> I think uh, what we gotta do is make sure that Jose gets to his room, and then we're probably gonna have. <laughs> We're probably going to have breakfast at uh, the Grand Lux Cafe at Venetian, but the live is probably going to end before we get there. We're going to end it. 
Battery life on the phone. Yeah, first time in Vegas. Just want to make. Oh my God, Jose. <laughs> uh, Mali for SCC. That's Jose El Compita. Now see, that's the Uber I tried to get for us. And the Uber driver was uh, like, no. Making sure he gets into the... the look, look, he's like, uh, no. <laughs> I was already in there at that point. Okay, guys, here's the Lindsay. Hey, what up, y'all? Um, so... The driver ain't letting him in. Y'all can't get out if he ain't letting him in. Oh, what? The driver's not letting him in. Oh, because he's drunk. I'll catch a cab. You guys were at like hey, 9%. Tell me if you get out. Or you guys going out <laughs> trying to catch this cab. Car shop says he's never seen you laugh so much <laughs> in a life. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. Write that cab down right there. Derek's yeah, trying his hardest. Yeah. Uh, Gompita's going to be feeling it manana they don't want to deal with they don't want to deal with people that are drunk at all fuck i understand it but yeah i mean these these are the people that need the help the most it's cool man you good and you dancing <laughs> <laughs> Love. Like, look at this example of yourself. Oh, ooh. Um, alright, so, uh, alright, you guys, so I think, I think this is a good time for us to cut off the stream. I'll say, Betty, bye. Dang, they were all looking at me. You guys, uh, thank you so much for hanging with us. It's late again right you're done drinking you don't ever want to be like this Jose is going right Jose. <laughs> you'll never go this hard again in your life good night danny for shop yes you guys, we did not know this night would take a turn like this. And, but you know how it is. If y'all can go back to one of your first nights in Vegas, y'all went overboard. And that's exactly what happened with Jose because this is his first time here. He went overboard for real. It would have cool. <laughs> car shop, what up, car shop? Wait, wait, wait. You got a show where we all picked him up. We all picked him up. Oh, my God. After that, we all ended up picking him up because he was dead weight. He was complete like a sack of potatoes, you guys. It was just crazy. <clears throat> Someone give him CPR. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean that was a really nice car, so I, I get it too. It's like you don't want to get throw up in there. Paul says uh, this definitely brings back memories of when I was like that. I consider myself lucky. I didn't need to have medical intervention, <laughs> so you can relate. <laughs> Donovan says I would have threw him in the bushes and come back to get him. <laughs> we thought about it, but we couldn't do Jose like that. <laughs> It was his first time, so. Nacho says, you can see it running through his bloodstream, acting like a depressant. Well, yeah, alcohol, alcohol's a downer, for sure, so. <laughs> I know. But uh, Jose, I have to say, it was a great sport. He, uh, you know, he was definitely felt better the next day and was able to laugh about it the next day. And he laughs about it to this day. To be honest with you, so you better have been a great sport. We could have left his ass there. That's true. We could have easily left him, but we weren't going to do him like that. I mean, we didn't know him that well. 
I know at that point we did know him that well, but still. It's all good. His pocketbook thinks otherwise, I know. Huh? Yeah, I did. I helped carry. That's what I'm saying. You have to see the next that next frame. I was carrying his legs. And you and Redub had like one arm each. Yeah, it was. And then I was just trying to talk to him like, you got to keep him sitting up. Make sure he don't sleep sleep. And then I saw when they did his EKG, his heart was his heart was sinus. His rhythm was sinus. He was he's gonna be fine. It was fast, but that's to be expected when you're freaking drunk. <laughs> he had a little tacky, a little tachycardia. So, anyways. But yep, that's our beloved Jose, the people's moderator, the hump hump king, <laughs> the one and only, Twinkle Toes himself, Jose. I think Jose's working. He's probably going to pop in a little bit later if we're still on. How are we doing on time? How much? Well, okay. Okay. So anyways, yeah, that was that was an epic night. That was an epic night. We had a good time. Sunshine was actually there. She was there with her friend, the black cowboy. I forget his name, but he was pretty cool. I just called him the black cowboy all night. <laughs> he was cool. Lindsay, as you can see, was there. Sarah, of course. Rita. Huh. Oh. Isabel, she was there too. Rita was faded too, y'all. He was just a little bit more in control. <laughs> but he was getting to that level. He was he was creeping up there. But Jose kind of sobered him up like a skosh. Just a skosh. <laughs> Not much, but a skosh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I know it's crazy how like that's like, oh my god, if you can avoid having to go to the ER, avoid it. Cause A, that ambulance ride is gonna get you. And then any little thing that you happens to you in the ER, you even take a Kleenex, they're gonna charge you for that shit. So I'm not saying don't go if you don't need it. You know, if you need it, that's what it's there for. But if you feel like you just have a common cold or something like that, mm -hmm, nope. Don't do it. Do not do it. Oh, man, it's 2.30. Just about 2.30 on the West Coast already. Donovan says, have I been out of the country? Yes, yes. We actually streamed uh, over in Dominican Republic last summer. That was really fun. I'm hoping to do a repeat. Um, I'm trying to get on a cruise if I can, but I got some other uh, commitments I got to take care of first. But hopefully sometime late summer, you'll see me on a cruise ship or you'll see us on a cruise ship. But we had a fabulous time. It was just amazing. I cannot, I'm itching to get back to the Caribbean. For sure. Donovan says, I'm going to DR in August for a bachelor's party. Nice, nice. That's going to be epic. That's going to be so fun. Yeah, I hope to. We were there last August for my birthday, as a matter of fact. So I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'm going to be somewhere. And cruise prices tend to go down as you get more in, uh, towards the end of summer, too. So I'm hoping to do that, to set sail. I 
uh, hello. I'm not sure what I I'm not sure what your name is, but uh, he says hello everyone and hello back at you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, I'm like so not looking forward to going to work tonight. My other nurses told me that I've gotten, I'm coming back to nine COVID patients. <sighs> Which, I mean, COVID in it of itself right now is not as bad as it used to be. It's not killing people like it used to. Uh, but, uh, it's still COVID, you know what I mean? It's still contagious, very contagious. Thankfully, everybody has mild symptoms, so I'm grateful for that, but I just don't want to have it and spread it at home. That's the main thing. But, you know, that's what I signed up for. Plenty of PPE, so that's what I'm going to be doing all night in and out of PPE. That's the part I don't like because every time when I have to wear a mask like that, like I start to break out. I get like acne over here and then like around here because you're breathing in and it's hot and it's just, ugh. But nine, you guys, nine. That breaks my previous record of having to take care of six. Now I got nine. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to get some serious rest and I'm going to take my vitamins. Nacho says, I love traveling, visiting in different countries. So eye-opening, you get to see and experience the same things the locals do. Yes, indeed. Oh, that is so true. He says, you did him solid and stayed with him. Family is not determined by blood, but rather by love, respect. Word up, word up, word up. And Donovan says, hazmat suit. <laughs> not, not that bad, not right now. Uh, but definitely have to gown up. I got to do full PPE, you know, bonnet, goggles, mask, gown, gloves, uh, shoe covers, the whole nine. I got to do it all. That's just what I hate. It's like not every other, every single person doesn't have it. So, you know, when I go to do patient care, if a room doesn't have it, I got to doff, which is the medical term for taking it all off at a doff it go into the regular patient's room and then if the room next to it they are under quarantine i got to put it all back on again it's just a freaking hassle man i hate it i hate it but better to be safe than sorry hey what what are you doing is that the fan in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Is the fan in the bathroom on? Oh, okay. Yeah, it is ridiculous. Well, at what they used to do before is um, they would like group everybody in one section. But because these people, the place that I work at is very high income, you know what I mean? So everybody has like their own private rooms. So they cannot cohort people, which I wish we could do that because it would make it so much easier to have two in one room, two in the next, two in the next, and then just have a complete wing of people that are just, that's what it is. But it ain't like that, so. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to order them in terms of whose medicine is priority, who needs stuff first, like that. Because I know them all pretty well um, and prioritize them in that manner. And then that way I'll be, I'll be doing as least donning and doffing as I have to. So, but y'all pray for me though. <laughs> pray that I make it. I'm actually doing two, I got two shifts and then I picked up a half a shift. So I'm doing two and a half shifts. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then half of Thursday. So. Oh, 
Uh, let's see here. Donovan says, where's the extra stuff? What, what extra stuff are you talking about? Not just as what is the protocol for COVID patients? Uh, where do you guys start the said patient on? Well, um, it depends upon how bad their symptoms are, but if, uh, if it's bad enough, they'll start on Paxlovid, which is the standard for COVID treatment. Um, but right now, the symptoms of COVID are mimicking the common cold. So as long as the symptoms are mild, we treat it like a common cold. But the only thing is they have to be isolated So because it's still so contagious. Um, so that's just the main thing, keeping them isolated. And of course, I have to protect myself, like I said, which is annoying because I've got to go in and out, separate rooms each time. I've got to do the whole procedure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Where are we at, Derek, with time? Okay. All right, guys. Well, Guess what? I think we've come to the end of, of Pillow Talk for tonight. This was just a impromptu session where I just figured I would get on and talk to you guys, like I said, mainly about basketball, but we kind of morphed into all kind of other stuff, didn't we? I appreciate everybody that came in. I hope you subscribed. Hit that little bell button so that way you are, hold on a second, that you are notified when we do go on. And we always will try to notify you guys uh, with a message letting you know when we do pillow talk or when we're going to do a live stream and all that good stuff. So I wish you all a beautiful night, morning, whichever it is for you. Like I said, if you have a moment, send one up for your girl as she works these next two and a half shifts that I stay safe so I can keep my own family safe. And I hope you guys stay safe. And I will see you all on the next pillow talk. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Alex. You guys have a good night, okay? Stay safe, really. I want y'all to stay well. Stay well. It's still COVID, okay? Bye. <laughs>